Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. Ndere rashi amandore raka. Jede mo soto de rashi abasa. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Ola ma seke de rashi abba. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless your name today. Lord, we glorify your name. We thank you this morning. We thank you this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Ola ma seke de rashi Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ola ma seke de rashi Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Ola ma seke de rashi Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Roma mama seke diri masoto di ashiaba. Ela mosam rashi bode yakoshia. Rama teke di baroshia. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, we give you praise this morning. Oh Lord, we thank you this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Oh lama seke di mokoya. Jete mosoto. Jando la make ande. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, we give you praise this morning. We thank you this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, Lama Seke Derima Rashia. Rama Seko Derima Haya. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, we give you praise this morning. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, all that you're doing. We thank you, Father, for all that you're about to do. Oh, we bless your name, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Lama Seke Derima Rashia. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless your name, God. We bless your name, Father. We thank you this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You're awesome, God. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Holla at Michigan. Good morning. God bless you. For the Holy Spirit is already here. Good morning, everybody. God bless everybody. God bless everybody. God bless everybody. God bless everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hallelujah. We worship the Lord. We thank Him this morning that He's here with us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, bless His name. Bless His name. Bless His name. Bless His name. We thank you, God, that you're with us today. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, bless your name. Bless your name, Father. Thank you this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Your presence is here right now with us. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you, precious ones. God bless you. God bless you, precious. God bless you this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, God, for these precious people. Thank you for these precious people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, you're awesome, God. You're awesome, God. There's the one like you, Father. Oh, bless these precious people, Lord God. Bless these precious people, Lord God. Thank you for them this morning, Lord God. Oh, bless your name, Father. Bless your name. Good morning. Good morning. God bless everybody. Good morning. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for these precious people. God bless everybody. God bless everybody. God bless everybody. God bless everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless your name, Father. Bless your name, Father. Bless your name, Father. Bless your name, Father. Good morning. Good morning. God bless everybody. God bless everybody. Bless the name of the Father. God bless everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship God this morning. Thank you for being on the line today. Thank you for your precious people for being on the line today. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. God bless your Periscope family. God bless your Facebook family. God bless you this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Raman de Iman Durima Kela Masia Basa. We welcome your presence, Holy Spirit. Everything else is not of you, but not baby to baby to have its way. 
but what you say will have it. Wait, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, we bless your name, Father. We thank you this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Ola masata. Jete mosoto de barashia basia. Jamba siko de rebohoya. Jema se kere boroshia basia. Raba ese tere boroshia. Ela mosoto de boroshia. Jambo se kere boroshia bahaya. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This morning. Hallelujah. Good to have you on this morning. Hallelujah. Welcome this morning on Periscope. Welcome this morning on Facebook. Welcome this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God this morning for all of you. Hallelujah. I thank God for all of you. Bless the name of the Father. Bless the name of the Father. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God bless everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. Good to have you on the line this morning. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Father. Good to have you on the line. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning for whatever country you're calling from, whatever state you're calling from. Holler at me, you can. Good morning. How you doing? Hallelujah. Good morning. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. Good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. It's good to have everybody on the line today. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Give me your name. How you doing this morning? How you doing this morning? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Good to have you precious people on this morning. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you this morning for being on the line. My name is Apostle Lord Shea Parchment. Amen. Of Awakening True Vine International Outreach Ministry. Welcome everybody this morning. Good morning, everybody. Hallelujah. Let's soak in the presence of God. Soak in the anointing of God this morning. Hallelujah. Welcome you precious people. How you doing this morning? Prophet Michelle. Good morning. Good morning. God bless. God bless. God bless. Amen. God bless those on Heavenly Lifeline. God bless those on Facebook this morning. Hallelujah. On straight on Periscope. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Pastor, how you doing? Pastor Harris. Good morning. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. All right. Let me see you. Bring those hearts and holler at me. Come on. Say hello, everybody. Hello. 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 Those on Facebook. Amen. All right, let me see your smiling faces. Yes, yes, yes. Let me see a smile upon you. Glory to God. Good to have you on this morning. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. I know you are. Ha. Ah, God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. We just want to say good morning. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> Holla at me, you can. Come on, say hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 we worship you, thank you God, hallelujah. Good morning everybody, good morning, hallelujah, so good to have you on this morning, you're so precious to God, hallelujah. Hola Masiata. Oh, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes, God. Good to have you. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let it be a fresh anointing of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Fresh of His Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you, God. You are truly worth. We pray. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, precious ones. Good morning. God bless you. I know y'all had a beautiful weekend. Hallelujah. Did you get some rest, precious? Hallelujah. I got some rest. I hope you got some rest. I got some rest, finally. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Bless his name. Oh, I thank God for moving for all of you this morning, protecting you and your family, protecting your marriage, your children. Your siblings, your job, your business, your ministry, protecting you everywhere you go, protecting your uh, uh, finance, protecting your identification. 
protected everything that's concerning you. Amen. Hallelujah. Protect you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you this morning. Thank God for all he's doing. Thank God for all he's about to do. We bless the wonderful name of the Father. We glorify him. Today he's awesome. He's awesome. And so are you awesome to him. Every one of you important. Amen. Well, you saved or not saved, you're still important to God. That's why I'm on here to let you know how important you are. Amen. I don't know what nobody told you lately, but you are important in the kingdom of God. Every one of you, whether you save or not save, you still important to God. That's why I'm on the line to let you know you are important. Amen. Well, everybody don't put you down and say you're nothing. I come to tell you, you are something. Amen. Those in the Lord, you are children of God, truly. Spread that love of God around to these precious people. That's what they need. Hallelujah. They don't need to be put down. They don't need to be told down. They only need to know that they're loved. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you, precious ones, this morning. It's so good to have you on this morning. You are so precious. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. Express some love of God. Amen. I got an encouraging word for you this morning. Let's spread that love of Christ. Amen. Hello. How you doing? How do you holler at me again? I don't know how holler you, these people, but most of the people get on this line is not saved. That's okay with me because that's why they're on here to get saved. That's why God got it like that. Amen. Everybody ain't saved, but that's okay. We want those people who are not saved for they can get saved. Amen. Show that love. Hello. How you doing? God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Okay. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Holler at me. You can ask more people to tell them, come on, join this morning with me on this line today. Got a good word for them today from God. Encouraging word. Amen. Hallelujah. Holler at me. That's right. That's right. Yes. You done. Heaven hotline. Heaven hotline. You, you done? <laughs> you ain't got started yet, precious. <laughs> Come on, holler at me. Add on some more people. Come on, tell people about this. Be encouraged. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't want to miss. I don't want nobody to miss nothing what God has for them. Amen. Everybody's important. Amen. Those that are in the kingdom of God is important. Those not in the kingdom of God is important. Because we want them to be saved as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, holler at me as you can. Hello, hello. How you doing? Tell me what state you're calling from. Tell me what country you're calling from. Amen. Hallelujah. If this is your first time on here, so good to have you on. This is your first time on here. Amen. Hallelujah. So good to have you on this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Good to have you precious people on this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank God for moving for every area of life. Thank God for moving for all of you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Hallelujah. Oh, I thank God for all of you this morning. Amen. Surely God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for all of you this morning. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. You are so precious to God. Good to have you on this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for all of you this morning. Thank God for all of you this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Good morning. What state are you calling from? Ah, what state are you calling from? What state are you calling from? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell me what state you're calling from. Hallelujah. Praise God. Good to have you on this morning. Michigan. God bless. I've been praying for Michigan. There's a lot going on in Michigan. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I see that who's running from Senator is rock. Amen. You don't know how God going to use somebody. Amen. So I don't judge nobody. God is taking the ordinary people, not people so much in politician now, are going to be running in a lot of office. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't know what the person can do. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning from South Africa. God bless you. Hallelujah. From New Orleans. God bless you from New Orleans. Amen. Anybody else calling from another state? I'll admit you can. Yes, yes. Want to welcome you this morning. Amen. My name is Apostle Lord Shea Parchment of Awakening True Vine International Outreach Ministry. I welcome you this morning on the uh, line this morning on the Heavenly Life line. We on Periscope. 
Amen. And we on Twitter as well, but we're on Periscope right now. Amen. And so we also on Facebook. Amen. Texas. Amen. Hallelujah. Good to have you on this morning. Hallelujah. Good to have you precious people on this morning. Everybody's important. Amen. There's not this one person important. All of you are important. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell me what state hall at me. Bring some more followers on here. Bring some more of your followers on here. Add them on. From Virginia. God bless you from Virginia. All right now. Good state, Virginia. Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody else? Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So good to have you on this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All of you in court in the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. So good to have you on this morning. Oh, gosh. Amen. So good to have you precious people on this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good to have you on. Amen. I got a little problem here, but nothing that God cannot fix. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God that you're here this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Holler at me you can. All right. All right. Say hello. Send those hearts up. Send the messages up. Come on. I don't hear you talking. All right. Send those hearts up. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Father. We glorify his name. He is worthy to be praised. Hello, hello. Throw some love this morning. Throw some love at you. Hallelujah. You need to be loved by Jesus. Hallelujah. He loves you more. Hallelujah. That's why I'm on here to let you know how much he loves you. How much you're important to him. Amen. I don't know what nobody told you lately, but every one of you are important in the kingdom of God. Your children are important. Your wife is important. Your husband is important. Your family is important. Your siblings is important. Every area of your life is important. Even your dog is important. If you got a cat, it's important. If you got a bird, it's important. What kind of animal do you have for a pet? It's important. Hallelujah. Because you're important. It's part of you. Hallelujah. So good to have you on this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, bless this name. Bless this name. Bless this name. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm so excited. Amen to have you on this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You're important. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, I want to holler at you this morning before I get started teaching. Say hello to your precious ones. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I know there's a whole lot of stuff going on, but I want to say hello to you. And I want you to know that you're loved by Jesus. I want you to know that you're important to Jesus. I want you to know that every one of you is so important in the kingdom of God. Amen. I don't know what anybody told you wasn't important, but I come to tell you, you are very important. That's why I'm on this morning to let you know that you are important in the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know what happened to this weekend with you. Some things may went good and some things may not went good, but God wants you to know that you are important to him. Amen. Hallelujah. Every one of you are important. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what God wants you to know, that all of you are important. Amen. I don't know what happened. I don't know what anybody say to you. I don't know what people say about you, but all I know is the devil's a liar and every one of you are important. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good to morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Amen. Those on Facebook, please don't in, do not inbox me. Please do not inbox me. Those on Facebook, do not inbox me. I'm on recording. I will not uh, uh, stop. Amen. Do not. Amen. Do not fear. Amen. I don't know why when I'm on recording, and, and you, you should be in the spirit, and why will you send a message when you see me recording, that don't make sense. Do not send me no message. Amen. I'm recording. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to say hello to everybody. Amen. Now, could you just do me a favor? 
Go tell somebody else about the line. Tell somebody that there's something good is going to be saying this morning up to them. Some encouraging words to them that they need to know. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Go tell somebody else about it. Come on, go tell somebody else about it. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, you know what to do. Go tell somebody else about it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go tell somebody else about it. Hallelujah. Do me a favor, go tell somebody else about it. Amen. Hallelujah. See, I, I want them to know how important they are. Amen. A lot of times people don't realize how important they are. They feel overlooked and some people bypassing and feel rejected. So, you know, Satan is not here this morning. He can't have his way on this line. The Holy Spirit is here, but heavenly angels. Ask him to release him where are you at home? For you can feel that anointing presence of Shekinah glory of God this morning. In your home, in your car, even the surrounding, if you're on the job, you can feel that peace right now. Amen. Where we at? Maybe on the subway, or maybe on the bus, or you maybe with a group of people carpooling. I want that presence of God that's around here be upon you right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Some of you may be in a place that you shouldn't be in. Now I want that presence of God be around you right now. Hallelujah. Praise His holy name. Praise His holy name. Good to have you on this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Holla at me you can. Come on, say hello. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Good to have you on. Where you calling from? What state you calling from? Amen. Hallelujah. I can see. Good. You can see. I'm glad you can see. Amen. Open your eyes, you will see. <laughs> if you're blind, you can't see. You can feel, touch, and know that you can see. Hallelujah. Good morning from Texas. God bless you from Texas. Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody just want to say hello? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Uh, holler if you can. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. Good to have everybody this morning from Texas, from Missouri, from Hawaii, from uh, Brazil, from Africa, from Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. From India. Hallelujah. From Belgium, from United Kingdom. Hallelujah. From Switzerland. Hallelujah. Sweden. Good morning from Sweden. Hallelujah. Mm. From Florida. Amen. From New York, amen. Good morning from all those all over, amen. Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, holler at me, you can. Say hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hallelujah. From Mexico. Oh, from Mexico. Good morning from Mexico and Spain, amen. Spain and Mexico. Good to have you on this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I want us to say hello from United Kingdom. See, there you United Kingdom. There you go. Good to have you on, precious. You're so precious. Throw love. Mwah. Go tell somebody else to get on here. Throw the love of God that you are important. That's why you're on here. Amen. Every one of you on this morning, you're not on here coincident. You're not on here no accident. You are on here because you are important. Amen. You are important to my daddy, God. Hallelujah. Amen. You are very important. Amen. That's why he got you on here. Because every one of you are important to him. You're important to me. And most of all, you're important to him. And he wants you to know that. Amen. He wants you to know that you are so important to him. Let me say this again. You. I'm talking to you. Yes, you. Hallelujah. You are important to him. That's why he got me up to let you know that. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, I'm Apostle Lord J. Parchment, a messenger for God. I have said that I was a mess, and God made me a messenger to uh, a messenger to give out a message. Make me a messenger to have a message from God to give you. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning, Prophetess Tina. God bless you, precious. 
Hallelujah. Anybody else from another country and state? Amen. Hallelujah. I am an apostle, prophet, and a senior pastor. Yes. Good morning. God bless you. God bless you this morning. God bless you, precious. How you doing? Amen. Hallelujah, precious. Come on, say holler at me, y'all. Throw some love at you. Go add on and tell somebody else. There's a woman of God on the line. Want to throw some love from Christ, from from Christ Jesus. Want you know that you are, you are loved, and that all of you are important in the kingdom of God. Every one of you are important. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every one of you. No, I didn't bring. I didn't. Angels did not come. Come. Did the angel come to you? They always come to me. Angels already. There's an angel right now behind me. Big one. Yeah. This angel. See that angel over there? This angel on the left side of me. There's an angel on the right side of me, and there's an angel behind me. I'm surrounded by angels. Hallelujah. And ask God to release the angels around you as well. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Good morning. Janet, how you doing this morning? God is not angry with me because I angel around me. <laughs> Oh, mwah. good morning. How you doing? Ah, you're so precious. Good to have you on this morning. Holler at me you can. Tell me what state you're calling from, what country. Tell somebody else by getting on him. Tell your followers. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. No. You know what? I want to tell you, uh, Ken, that you love. Yes, that you love. You just... Miserable. Columbia. God bless you from Columbia. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you from Columbia. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That, that other person got religious spirit on them. They got religious spirit because they mad. They mad. They mad with themselves. They don't understand a lot of stuff. It's so sad and pitiful. Just want to know that Jesus loves them. Amen. <laughs> They've been blinded. Talking about the right thing. They're still blind. Amen. There's so many people are so blind out there. Amen. There's people are blind. Amen. They are blind. Amen. They are blind. Thank you, Prophet Michelle. Tell them. There's so many people blind. Spiritually blind, blind without being a spirit, physically blind, and mentally blind. There's a lot of people are spiritually blind, mentally blind, and physically blind. The ones that are physically blind. Don't even know where they're coming or going. They always judgmental. And those are spiritual blind that think they know they're going they are more blind. Amen. They they live in assumption and spirit uh, and um wishful thinking. Amen. That's right. Please share and invite. Amen. So uh Ken is on this morning and he has a spiritual well, he or she got a spiritual blindness and they only see what they can see. They don't really walk in the spirit because they walk in the spirit, they understand. But those that are those are physical blind. They they see more than he sees or she sees, Amen. Because they they not really seeing in the spirit. It's sad because how you think is how is what you see. That's how the physical blind can see something good. It's what they think and sense, and that's how they see, Amen. Do you not know they see better than the ones that can, can see physical, Amen? They're very sensitive more to the spirit than the ones who who can see, Amen. Because they they're very sensitive. They're not quick. To, uh, uh, they sensitive of, of of a person, whether they are evil or good. They are very sensitive. Amen. They sense the love. They sense the bad. They sense the good. Amen. Hallelujah. But you know, God sees the good and the bad in us, but yet He still loves us. Amen. He doesn't judge us. He accepts us who we are. Amen. Can you imagine if if God would use people to accept me? I never be in the kingdom if enough to people because they judge. They're so busy looking at the outside. They're so judging what you say. Instead of giving you a chance, they judge you. So the level of the people behind bar. Amen. Hallelujah. Most of the time when people judge you, say things about you, it's because they've been put down so bad. And it makes them feel good to put others down. Amen. Because they've been there and people, they have not been loved. But I want you to know this morning that you are loved this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. The, uh, you know, and there was a son said, Amazing Grace, how sweet it sound that saved a wretch like me. I was a wretch. I once was blind, 
but now I can see. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I was a mess, a total mess. But God took a mess like me and became a messenger from God to give a message to you. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> if he can do that for me, I, I can imagine how much he can do for everybody else. Amen. I was not Miss Goody Two Shoe. I'm Miss Perfect. Amen. I wasn't born perfect. Amen. I was born a mess. Amen. Praise God. But God took someone like me. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for my mother. Thank God for my father. Amen. My father was my grandfather. Amen. He was my grandfather. Amen. He molested my mother. But something good came out of it. I did. And thank God they didn't abort me. Amen. That's why I'm I'm pro-life. Amen. Because I know I could have been aborted. But God wouldn't let it happen. So that didn't happen. But the devil tried to kill me in my mother's womb. Amen. But I'm here for him first. And for you to let you know how important you are. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. That you all important. Amen. Whether you save or not save, that God loves you. Just who you are. And you know, I'm so glad that I don't have to prove who I am. That that's the, the good thing about it. And and I, I don't have to impress who I am. I just can be myself. Amen. Amen. You know, it, it and, and what's what's so good about it that God looks at my heart. He don't look on the outside. Like people judge you how you look on the outside. Amen. If I decide to wear rainbow color hair style, he he don't care as long as my heart stays in him. Amen. If I decide to do look this, he he don't care. Amen. All he cares about my heart. Amen. That he has my heart, and that's all he cares about. Amen. And and that's why I want you to know that he's not looking at the outside of you. He's looking at your heart. He accepts you just who you are. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And then we accept you. He just welcomes you into his family and clean you up. Amen. He got that good soap. That that soap you can't buy in the store. Amen. <laughs> oh, you can't buy Dove and all the other stuff. Soap. Amen. He got that soap. It's a, it's um it's a, it's a, the best soap you can ever have. That cleanse you. The dirt not just on the outside, but cleanse the dirt on the inside. Amen. Hallelujah. And I just love it because. He, he knows what to do. Amen. So I want you to know that he, he's not looking on the outside of you. He's looking on the inside. Amen. That's what he does. And so when he works on the inside, then the outside begins to show on uh, who you really are. Amen. So thank God that he don't work on the uh, outside. He works on the inside first. Amen. Because people base people on the outer appearance and God looks on the heart. Amen. And I, that's the point thing that God looks on the heart and he sees in you what nobody else sees. Amen. Yeah. You know, and, and the most important thing, he knew you before you was in your mother's womb. That's what I love about it. It just blow my mind how he know me. And they said, there's no God. Yes, there's a God. Look around you. This wasn't created by, just came out of evolution out of nowhere. And all this was crazy. You know, there's a God and that's him. Elohim, the great God almighty. And he loves you. Amen. And he wants to be so much part of your life, 100%. He wants you to be in his family. His, he got the best family to be in. He wants to adopt you and, and be your father and let you know that he's there for you. Amen. And, and you know what the good news is? That you don't have to make an appointment to see him. That he's always there 24-7 with open, open ears to hear you. Amen. To listen to you. To talk to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Just come as you are. That's all he wants. And just talk to him. You know, you, you have the best conversation. You don't realize how much best conversation. You have a conversation with him that he ain't going to go behind your back and talk about you. Or say negative things about you behind your back. He'll tell you right in front of your face and let you know how you feel. Amen. And that's a good thing. He's not a backstabber. No, he doesn't stab you. He just tell you the truth to keep you free. He tell you what they like and don't like. Amen. But he tell you so much in love. That's how much he loves you. Amen. That's why he loves you so much. Amen. I, I love the scripture of John 3, 16. For God so loved the world. Amen. Now, no one can love the world like God. Amen. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son to, to, to condemn the world, to judge the world. 
He sent him that we may have life. Amen. Hallelujah. Eternal life. Everlasting life. Amen. It's given to all. There's no set point people. There's no special people. You are invited to be part of this great, awesome family. And I'm so glad that he's not like my family, that they accept me, but not accept me as much as he does. You know, and uh, they only call when they feel like it. He calls me all the time. Amen. And that's my love about him. And then I could go to him, and without any appointment, I don't have to go to no, no brewery cats, no, uh, you know, all that, papers and stuff, all that, and who you know, and that know, that's the only way you can get to him. He is more important than anybody in the world, the creator. Always got time to talk to. Never too busy. That's what I love about him. He's never too busy. Always there listening, want to hear from you. That's what I love about him. Amen. Well, how do you know he talks? He talks to me all the time. Just like I'm talking to you, he'll talk to you if you want to talk to him. Amen. Well, I'm a sinner. When you talk to me, of course he'll talk to you. That's how I got saved. I was a sinner. And and he and he talked to me. Amen. I was a sinner saved by grace to faith. And he talked to me. He didn't judge me. He didn't put me down. He just opened up his arm and said, Come, Lois. Here I am. <laughs> That's the God I serve. You see, we've been blinded by what we see. We've been blinded by what we hear. We've been blinded by what we think. We've been blinded and in, in, in where we were born. We've been blinded about family and told us. We've been blinded by people. But see, he won't blind you. He will set you free. He will begin to take those scales off your eyes and uh uh that been on your eyes for a long time to keep you from seeing the truth, amen, knowing the truth, hearing the truth, thinking the truth, amen. That's how much he loves you, amen. But let's see, the eyes are useless when the mind is, is, is lost. The eyes are useless when the mind is lost. Some people's mind is just lost, and so they can't see it. And so the mind, so it's useless when the mind is, is lost, me is blind. Amen. So, you know, you people can see, but if your eyes is usually when the mind is blind, they will understand. They can't see. They can't stay free. And there's a lot of people are spiritual blinded. And there's a lot of people are physical blinded. And there's a lot of people are mental blinded. Amen. And, and I, I truly believe that a lot of people choose to be blind because they don't want to hear the truth. Amen. Some people are spiritual blinded because they choose to. They allow the enemy, Satan, to deceive them. That's people physical blindness because they know the truth, but they don't want to accept the truth. Because a lot of people say the truth hurt them. Amen. So a lot of people are mentally blinded because how they think. I mean, they're constantly thinking that what it should be. And a lot of times it shouldn't be that way. Amen. So they blind and they blind and blind. Because what when they're blind in their mind, then they can't think. And actually, in reality, they can't see. There's people around now that's blind, really blind. Amen. Do God want them blind physically? No. Does he want them blind mentally? No. Does he want them blind spiritually? No. He wants them to, to see. I remember the, the story in the Bible where Jesus took a mug, say, uh, uh, say uh, do you want to be healed? He asked him, amen, would you like to be healed? And see, a lot of people say they want to be healed and touch and then... When they get healed, then they won't get, a lot of people don't want to be rejected and don't want to get the, uh, won't get the attention. Amen. But this particular man said, yes, I want to be healed. So Jesus put his hand in the, in the, in the uh, dirt and put water in mud and put it upon his eyes. He was physical blind. He wasn't born blind. Amen. Uh, amen. And he put it on his eyes and he rubbed it on his eyes and he saw. Amen. Now, people said that what, he, he was blind because he, of his, the sin of his mother. He was blind because the sin of his father. Was he blind because of his sin? No, they ain't got nothing to do with it. Amen. Because your sin doesn't make you blind. We can make ourselves blind because of the evil things that we've done to our own self. Amen. Amen. So Jesus don't go around and blinding people. He goes around and freeing them that they will be able to see. Amen. 
Some people that uh, be blind, they're going to be blind to life. But then they have a, a, a very strong sense of physical sense of spiritual senses and mental senses to understand things. Amen. Some of the people that physical blind never saw can see more than the ones who can see. Amen. It all depends on the individual. Amen. So people has been blinded. Amen. So uh, the eyes is useless. Once again, when the mind is blind, the eye is useless when the mind is blind. If your mind is blind, you can't see anything. You won't, if you can't see anything, you won't know anything because when you have the knowledge and when you have the understanding, then you'll be able to see things. Amen. But those that physically blind wants to see. They want to touch. That's why they make so many things for the real things of blind. For the, when they touch, they can feel, they can understand. Amen. They are more sensitive. A blind person can touch you and sense whether you are really real. Amen. Amen. With it, you know, whether they say, but not say. Amen. Even those that are saved can touch and see whether you are real. Amen. So when you're spiritually blind, you can you can't see Christ because you haunt your heart. In the, in the book of Hebrews, they haunt not in the day of provocation when God is provoking and calling you to Him. They haunt your hearts. A lot of people haunt their hearts. They choose not to see. Even those that are in the Lord, I, you know what? I look at it this way from the Lord that a lot of people just want to be blind, and because they don't want you to know that they know or they don't know, or they don't want you to know that they. They really don't see, but they, they want their own rejection. I mean, a lot of people walk in the spirit of fear. Even those in the Christ, even those are not in Christ. If you look at it, basically those people out there, are out there fighting, out there violent, it's because they're blind. But they choose to be blind. Okay, that's it. People make choices to be blind because they don't want to accept the truth. People prefer, their preference is seeing things the way they want to see it. They like lies. They love fables. They love stories. They don't like the truth. I don't understand that, but, you know, I ask God, why do people prefer lies than the truth? Because people are just comfortable in where they're at. But yet, they complain and nag about others and themselves, what they're not doing. They're really talking about themselves. So when people say certain things negative they really are actually talking about themselves they are putting their own self down but you know a lot of times they don't want you to know that they are but they are same way with those in the in, in the Lord they spiritual blindness but they don't want you to know that they want you to think that they know everything that they are so smart they so smart amen and they got an IQ of so smart they so smart Amen. But inside, there's a lot of hurt. Inside of them, there's a lot of pain. You know, there's a lot of people got a lot of pain in them and suffering right now. Because they, they put on an act and say they can see, but they can't see. But they don't want nobody to know they can't see. They want everybody to know they can see. Amen. Because they want the attention of others. Amen. So, a lot of people harden their hearts. They Some people are, are not friendly. And some people are friendly. And then some people, when they when, when they want to be friendly, they push people away. They don't want them to know. Amen. You know why? Because of the hurt and the pain and the suffering that they've been through. And so it's kind of hard for them to grasp hold the truth. In other words, a lot of people don't want to hear the truth. Mm -mm. The Bible say that uh, in the last days, that these are perilous times. And you can see these are trouble times. Amen. I look at the the violent, the, uh, 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 the protesters. You know, uh, everybody should have the freedom to speak what's on their heart to say. What, but I don't think they have to fight and kill and hit innocent people or uh, break in innocent people's uh, business and destroy it. You know, that's not a good thing. But a lot of people like that. And the reason why they like that because they take out their frustration on others. Why? Because they're blind. You notice that. Anytime that people tear down other possessions, other property, it's because their possession personally has been torn down. And so it makes them feel, they, they, they look for opportunity to hope that they can share with somebody else to feel the same way they are. 
Amen. Because of their blindness. Amen. And so they choose to be, they know the truth, but they don't want to accept the truth. So they love what they're doing. They love uh, 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 the drama. They love to make people feel bad because of the hurt and pain they've been carrying. Amen. And the wounds. There's so many people got so many deep wounds. And so therefore they can't see. And I know I'm, I'm, I'm online uh, talking the right thing because a lot of you got some deep wounds right now. and But you keep it so secret. You don't want nobody to know what it is. And, 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 and Christ knows what it is. And so he reached out to us to help us. But see, a lot of people don't want to be helped because if he helped them, then they're afraid that they'd be exposed and all this they've been putting on, that it was all that, it wasn't really who they was. But that's not the, that's not the point. The point is that once you get free, you be able to see more. Amen. Not only you be able to see more, you'll be more sensitive to things. You won't be ignorant of things. Amen. And then you have a better understanding. Amen. That's people got the best job or uh, just lost as they can be. Lost. Lost. I mean, they're completely lost. <laughs> I mean, there's some people are lost, lost, lost. Amen. Physically, mentally, spiritually. Just by opening their mouth for amen. Amen. We're still that way. We can be blinded by stuff. He's not going to give us all. But you know, we, we, we are free every day when we seek his face. I'm, I'm going to get there. Amen. I'm free, yes. But we, as we continue to seek his face, we'll continue to be free. The minute we stop seeking his face, the minute we stop searching and inquiring him, then we could go right back to the same thing. That's how he got it. Amen. That we'll always depend on him. Amen. We can easily get blinded real quick and think we do know it and think we understand it. We have to be careful because we don't want to get the place that we know it all and allow arrogance and pride to come in and blind us. And that's what God says. If we humble ourselves unto the Lord, it means don't think we are better than the other person, above the other person. See, we can run people away because we think we know it all, we all this here. And so a lot of Christians run people away because they they give them expression that you got to do all this and be just like them. And it's not about us. Amen. And I'm glad that God's still working on me. Amen. I'm still that God is doing something in me. Because I was a blind mess. But he took care of that blind mess and made me a messenger of, of the kingdom of God that I will give a message to others. So what he does, therefore, keep me from being blind, keep me from going back as I seek him, as I inquire him, amen, and search for him. He keep me from being blind because, let me tell you, the enemy and people, this is what I always say, Satan always would use people to keep you from knowing the truth, amen. And sometimes the truth hurts. And, you know, and that's why a lot of people stay blind because they don't want, they don't want the truth. But really the truth help you. It uh, uh, it cures you. Amen. Gets rid of the mis-emotion. Gets rid of the things that you've been thinking about. Amen. And so that's how we come free all the time. Amen. So you know that everybody knows that God is real. But do they accept God is real? Everybody know you real right now because I'm talking to you. Everybody know I'm real because you talk to them. I'm not uh, a robot. I'm not an angel. I'm a human being. Born again in the Spirit of God through Jesus Christ by His Spirit. Amen. So, you know, I'm real. I'm alive. I'm not dead. I'm not six feet under the ground. Amen. Some people are dead emotionally, not physically, but emotionally and spiritually. They're dead because their mind is dead. And so, when their mind is dead, they are blinded. Amen. So blinded that they can't see what they should see. They only see what they want to see. So therefore, a lot of people make themselves blind dead. Amen. Because they got so much going. They can't even think right. They can't. So if they can't think, so their mind is dead. Their mind is blind. They can't think right. They're constantly thinking of things they shouldn't think of. Amen. And if you are saved, don't you know the enemy will try to send a signal to blind you for the truth that you won't stay free? Amen. Praise God. 
So you are real as I'm talking to you right now. I may not, I can't touch you, but I can touch you spiritually. I can touch you by putting my hand out there. Amen. I can't touch you right in front of me, but I'm looking at you. And every one of you are in real and important. Amen. See, because everybody knows God is real, but they don't want to serve his real. But people reject him because they love their sin and don't want to submit to him. Amen. See, people knows what they're doing. Amen. And they accept what they're doing because they love what they're doing. Amen. People make excuses because they, what if, but, but, what if, well, I got to think about me. I got to think about me. I got to think about I. God going to help them. They help themselves. There's no way in the Bible. Amen. And we all been thinking that way because we was brought up that way to think that way. Amen. And see, a lot of you are so blinded in what you learn. You're so blinded in what you hear. You're so blinded in what you think. You can't even see the real, real thing, the realness of reality. Amen. What is actually going on? You can't see it. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for the revelation. You can't see it. And so the Lord wants to take away that. That I remember that man made, he was so blind, who made that sound amazing grace, how sweet it sound that saves a wretch like me. I was a wretch. I was a mess. I once was blind, but now I see. See, I, what the man was saying, I thought I knew everything. I, I was born. I, I had all the education. I, I had all the school. I had the best teacher. I had the best mentors. I had the best tutors. I had the best college and everything you could know and the best job. But there was something missing. And see, I made the assumption that I thought I know everything. I didn't need to know everything. So therefore, I was blinded. That's what he was saying. He was blinded. Of His education could not educate him spiritually on how to know physically and mentally how to stay, keep his mind from being blind and dead. Amen. Even though he had all the education, PhD, master degree, uh, all those degrees, amen, doctorate degree, but he needed the HD degree, the Holy Ghost degree. And I find that when you hear a, a mind is very dangerous to lose, amen. And, and, and people have lost their mind because they had got to a place that they know it all, and you can't tell them they're so educated. Oh, they're so educated. But they don't have no common sense of wisdom. And so when they don't have the wisdom, the right wisdom, not their wisdom, but the wisdom of God, they stay blind. I mean, they don't have no life. They don't understand life. So therefore, they're based on their life, on their own understanding, what they see. And so they're so used to doing certain things away. And so they're really blind. Their mind is blind. That's why you heard when, when George Myers wrote a book about the battlefield of the mind, that it is. That's where it's at. The battlefield is in the mind. Because once the mind is blinded, it's hard for them to understand. It's hard to, to see things the way it's supposed to see. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And so, therefore, when they see the truth, it's hard for them to receive it. Just like when you put the wrong uh, uh, um, video, uh, uh, video uh, uh, in your video drive, in your CD drive, amen, recording, and you say, that is the right one. But I hope that, I hope, I, I hope that don't it be rejected, amen. And uh, it can be rejected. Amen. But, but how you reject it? If you inject I don't want to hear this, then you injected it. So a lot of people inject the truth. And that's why they reject the truth. They don't want to hear it. So they inject that CD, uh, VD, out and say, I don't want to hear it. I'm comfortable with what I'm doing. And so therefore, their mind continues to be blind. They can't see. They only can see things the way they have seen it before. There's no changes. There's never going to be no changes because that's how they are. Amen. And so therefore, they become ignorant. Means, I've been there plenty of times, and I know you have. Mean lack of understanding, lack of knowledge, and lack of awareness. Because they have the dependency of depending on what they think, and what they see, and what they know. And find out all that they know is not, a, not enough to know. There's someone who's all-knowing that know everything that will help you to know everything. But you got to learn to humble yourself. You got to learn to be in a place that it's not about me because I'm still learning. I got a long way to go, but I'm willing to, to just be still and listen because see, I've been moving so fast 
and say, I don't have time. And so most of the most time when people get blind because they get impatient, you know, and they say they got patient. I never get this young lady say, I got a lot of patience. I said, oh, nobody got patient but God. The only way you're going to get patient is to God. Amen. And a Christian, you never ask for patient. Amen. Those in the world don't have patient. They, I mean, I mean, you, there's a, 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 a there's understanding about that. You go out there and drive and you and 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 and, and uh, you drive slow and see what happens. See what happened. You go out and drive. You're going to be cursed at. Somebody's going to try to hit you. Uh, they're going to blow in their home. Amen. Amen. You get out there and the speed limit is 30. And you say, I decided to drive 20 or 25. And, you know, be on the safe side. And, and the person blowing, whoa, you're going too slow. What's your problem? And then they start calling you all kinds of names. Because, see, they say, oh, this person should not be on the road and driving. I don't say stuff like that, too, when I was driving. Amen. Not cursing. Amen. But say thing. Thank God the Holy Ghost helped me for not cursing no more. Amen. And we get impatient. I mean, the people on the road is very impatient. They drive it. And that's why you see so many suicide uh, spirit out there. Suicide spirit, that is a spirit that caused people to be in an accident. They don't know why they're in an accident. And so the accident comes from being impatient. They don't have patience to wait. They have patient to rest. A lot of people don't get sleep at night because they worry. Why? Because they're blinded in what they see. Amen. I mean, they, what you mean, Apostle? They're blinded what they see because they focus on they're more on their problems and circumstances. And so instead of focus on, this can be taken care of. Amen. And the only way it can be taken care of is Christ Jesus. Amen. The only hope is in Christ Jesus. Amen. Man can never solve no problem. And you see that man been trying to solve problems. He don't got worse and worse and worse. He can't do it. But God is the only one can solve it through Jesus Christ. If you believe it. Amen. So there's a lot of people impatient, even in the line. And you, you know, that's why they got. You go to the grocery store. And you got a, 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 they got one line, one row with ten, 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 uh, ten items or less, and then you got another another row of twenty items or less. Then you got one that's self-service yourself, self. You can do yourself, and you don't have to worry about nobody on you standing on you. Uh, how long? I hope she hurry up. She got too many. She don't need to be on this line. Or he got too many. He don't need to be in the line. Amen. You know, you, ma'am, you wrong. Or sir, you wrong. Amen. And sometimes the cashier will take the people and say, you know what? Don't worry about it. I'll take it anyway. Because that person has patience. And it's very subtle to see by people are patient. Amen. They're not blinding what they see. They see that this person made a mistake. And they said, that's okay. You saw, you you didn't look at it, or maybe you did see it, but I'm going to help you anyhow. Could you imagine when people could do start doing that? And so, it, uh, 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 how how better the world will be, amen? But it, it's only going to be better to Christ Jesus. So, therefore, people are blind and patient. And patient will cause you to be blind. Let me say this again. And patient will cause you to be blind. Amen. Because you don't have, you don't have the patience to wait. You can't be still. You know, everybody's always in a rush. You're too slow. Come on, hurry up. I wish you stop. I wish you shut up. Amen. But actually, they're talking themselves. They want you to stop and be patient with them. But they don't want you. They don't want. They don't want you to. Uh, uh, they, they ain't gonna be stop and patient with you. Why? Because they've been blinded. What they learned. They've been blinded of the knowledge that was intake in them. What they have received. So they expect you to be just like them. Amen. They expect you to be like them, to become like them. Amen. And when you don't become like them and act like them, then they get mad. Amen. Because they've been blinded, because they, they've been rejected. And so rejection causes people to be blind, which comes from the spirit of fear, works all together. Fear to believe, fear of God, fear of, uh, of God in a different way, not respecting him. Fear of people, fear of, uh, uh, fear of being rejected, fear of everything. Mostly, basically, people, why people be blind? Because they walk in fear. And why they violent and why they love drama? Because of fear. And most people live in fear. We say that fear is false evidence appearing real, but it's not real. It's to deceive you. It's a spirit of deception sent out by the devil. Amen. To, to make people see something which is not really is. That's what fear does. So fear, what it does, it blinds your eyes. Amen. Try to take things that are not true, a lie, and try to make it a facts to make it true. Amen. And basically, a lot of you have been brought up that way, 
you know, and, and if, uh, because your parents didn't know no better, amen, they didn't understand no better, amen, so you was brought up that way, it's hot, <laughs> it's the Holy Ghost, amen, hallelujah, and so that's why people act the way they act, because basically, people walk in fear, and so that's why they can't accept God's real. So therefore, what they, they submit to they they submit to sin more. They love sin more because they don't want to change. What if? Because they've been so blinded and with sin, it's kind of hard for them to change. It is not hard. It just people make it hard. Amen. Because they got they don't got so deep in what they're doing. They love what they're doing. So therefore, they make excuses. You know what they're saying? Well, I'm not going to church. Why? There's so much so many hypocrites in there. When I go to church, I ain't gonna be nothing like them. And, but, but you know what they sound like? They sound like a hypocrite. Amen. They become a hypocrite. Why? They saying something and they really ain't who they are. But yet they point fingers at the others and say what they're not. In reality, they are not who they are. So what they are? I'm glad you asked. They are blinded with themselves, what they see, with their own understanding, with their own knowledge. Amen. So basically they're saying things that who they really are. Amen. But yet they call everybody else a hypocrite. What they doing. Because they're not who they are. So they're a more of a hypocrite than another person that go in the church who say they are a Christian. Amen. So there's, it's like what, what it does. They judging all day long. They judging all the time. So they talking about them judging. But they judging more than the, than the one who's in the church. Amen. So they're blinded by their own way of seeing things. You see what I'm talking about? Basically, a, a lot of people are blind blind by what they see and what they think. And that's why they act the way they act. But they don't want you to know that. And that's how they act. Amen. So your action, we have a thing about affirmative action. When something happened on the job or something happened, so affirmative action means that we got to do something about it. Amen. If we don't do something about it, then it, 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 uh, it, the things will not come out the way it's supposed to come. Amen. Affirmative action, uh, uh, AA, is not always what it is. But people think it is. Well, if we don't take affirmative action, nothing's going to happen. Amen. But then it depends how you take the affirmative action. Do you take it the right way or the wrong way? You can take affirmative action and you can damage yourself and you can damage somebody else. Because if you don't know the truth of why you're taking affirmative action, then you can be blinded and mess up somebody and bless you and mess up yourself. So the spirit of blindness can mess up physically, mentally, and spiritually. Amen. And that's really bad. Because when your eyes, when your eyes is loose, when your mind is blind, you know, your blind, your mind is blind is what your mind thinks is right. You know, your mind thinks like a, uh, try to think at your heart. Amen. Say the brain, when the brain control you, everything. The brain try to control everything, but when you let your heart control you, it would tell the brain says, "No, uh, uh-uh, not that way. This is the right way." Amen. It would show more compassion. It would show more understanding. Amen. But see, what's happened is a lot of people do, has lost their compassion. Even those that are saved lost compassion. Amen. Well. They say eye for eye and a tooth for tooth. I got to look out for number one myself. Because if I don't look out for me, who's going to look out for me? But you don't really understand that you have been so blinded that if you don't look out for yourself, nobody's going to look out for you. You see, you've been trying to look out for yourself and you've been messing up because you've been blind. What you thought was right was wrong. And so you're mad. Because you've been trying to fix it yourself. And that's how you got blinded, trying to fix yourself. And you find that by you fixing yourself... That you still going in circles. And then what happened? You go to a place of in, there's no way out. And then you say, well, how did I get here? Because you choose to do it yourself. You choose to fix it. You got blinded yourself by looking at it in, in, the, in the wrong way. Amen. A lot of you are doing that right now. Amen. Amen. A lot of you are doing that. In two weeks, I will be sending out oil to the, to the partners and to those that under the ministry, amen. I want you to understand it before y'all get off. I will be sending, oh, I'm going to get your address. Those that sent out a uh, uh, partnership with me and those that are in with the ministry and those that are, God have me to say that right there because some of you get off early. And those that are members, amen, that I'm going to send out all to you, okay? I'm anointed. I've been, I've been anointed by God through Jesus Christ. And that all is anointed, amen, because I've been in the presence of God, you know, trying to see him, amen. 
and speak to him on what to share with you and what to uh, do. Amen. So I had to say that real quick. All right. So once again, everybody knows God is real, but do they accept that he's real? And, and so they won't accept it, but then they're blind of, of their past. They're blind of their hurt. They're blind of their brokenness. They're blind of their knowledge. They're blind of their understanding. They're blind of what they see. And Amen. So it's, it's kind of hard for them to accept it. Amen. So we said that we've been rejected. i tell you something. Who's been rejected more is God. He's been rejected more than anybody in this whole world. But see, people don't see that way. They're rejecting him right now. People don't want uh, people talk about Jesus no more. They don't want to talk about Christian. They, if anybody comes to the job and say that, they go report them in school or anything. And I'm praying that prayer back in school because prayer don't, school don't got messed up since they took prayer out. Amen. They they even they even uh, they're so blinded that the news media complain about the people, the even the evangelical. Uh, evangelist uh, team came and prayed for the president. There was with uh, the vice president and the president, they asked him they wouldn't pray. He said, yes, he loves God. So they're blinded by that. They don't understand how he, how he gets, he keeps going because of prayers and because of God. So they twist around. They even got blinded when President uh, uh, Trump was saying something about, uh, was compliment uh, the uh, uh, the prime minister's wife. She looked good in the dress. She, she, she dressed nice. He wasn't trying to get fresh. They were blinded. They say they t- took that twist. See, blind. See, people that walk in blindness, they co- they walk in confusion. You don't realize that when you when you bl- when you walk in blindness, you walk in confusion. And when you walk in confusion, therefore you out of order. You begin to see things the way you think you see, and then it becomes confused. And and you can make things more complicated. People make things more complex because they twist things around that was not really true into blind a person to make you think it is true. Amen. So blindness falls in a lot of categories. Amen. It can be good and it can be bad. I, I want to be blinded from the evil stuff. I don't want to see the evil stuff. I want to be blinded of my old ways. It means that I don't want to capture hold to the same old things I used to be. Amen. I want a change to remove those things. I know the devil I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna focus them out blind them like I, I know that they're like I don't see them that's what I'm talking about amen so we have to understand that 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 is that's what God is saying that we want to make sure that we see it the right not the wrong way amen hallelujah that is that's what God is saying amen when we begin to see things the way God wants to see it then things begin to change for us amen hallelujah and that's what God wants us to do he wants to see things his way amen hallelujah Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's what God said. We got to begin to see things the way he wants to see. Amen. Hallelujah. You you should be blinded from the evil things. Amen. That's what God said. Get blinded from the evil things. Don't let the things of the evil take control of your mind. That your mind be blind. All right? And your heart be blind. Amen. So, once again, people reject him. Because they love their sin. They got excuses. And don't want to submit to him. They got excuses. Say, well, uh, um, I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to church. And they ain't going to no church. You know why they ain't going to go to no church? Because that's how they are. They say they're going to go to church, but they actually they ain't going to church. Amen. They ain't going to church. You know why they ain't going to church? Because they don't want to hear the truth. They have been so blinded with, with, with. Uh, uh, blinded with lies and blinded with with, with uh, false evidence, false facts. Everything is false and fake. It's hard for them to know the truth. You see, some a lot of news media they they find out that a lot of them are faking. A lot of them say, I know what they're talking about because I never forget when I when I was um, when I went um, the detention detention center and I was ministers young boys and the one guy one boy got delivered from he had a whole lot of demons but the main one was Jezebel and Ahab and who's over Jezebel Ahab was Beliah and uh, they have been blinded and say this is the way to set them free and it wasn't the way to set them free amen and they was blinded 
And that's why a lot of people are blinded because they don't want to see the truth. They love the sin. They don't want to submit to him. They'll tell you, well, before I go to church and before I get the Lord, I got to do some, some changes. I want to make sure I'm right before I get saved. I ain't going to be like everybody else. Go serve the Lord and really my heart is not there. And, and that same person who's saying that are still blind right now because they're trying to do it themselves. And, and they never can clear up their mess themselves. They never can fix their mess themselves. So therefore, a lot of people just stay blind and stay where they're at. And so they get mad. And actually, they're really mad with themselves. But they have they continue to like to take it out on everybody else. Amen. So I'm talking about people just blind of the truth. They, they'd rather be uh, uh, blind of the truth and accept the lies. Amen. And stay miserable. Amen. So they continually make an excuse and saying things. Amen. But yet, God knows it. And yet, he still loves us. Amen. He just, just said, you know, when Jesus went to the cross, he said, Father, forgive him for do not know what to say. Thank God he wasn't blind just that he saw that we didn't really mean it in our heart. That we're just saying it for excuse we because we didn't want to be rejected. We want to be accepted. We want to be approved. We want, to, uh, want the attention and want everybody to know that we are important just as anybody else. Amen. And so, therefore, if they don't get the attention, and therefore they don't get the approval, they they stay into what they're doing. They stay more submitted to loving what they're doing, the evil and wrong thing. A lot of people love sinning. <laughs> a lot of people love to sin. They lie so much they're not like that. But a lot of them love what they're doing. Then they get mad when things don't go their way because they choose that way. People make the wrong choice. So therefore, when people make wrong choices, they look to blame others for they because they they're irresponsible. So when most of the time when they're like they're irresponsible, insecure, amen. But they don't want you to know that. They want you to know they're so secure and responsible. When they can't take the responsibility, admit it and quit it and forget it, that they know they did it, they know they said it, amen, and they know they was wrong. Hopefully they will forgive you, forgive and forget. They forget at the same time. So they continue to love what they're doing. Amen. And But yet they tell you, well, I don't really love what I'm doing. I do want to change. So when God does try to change them, what they do, they push them. They inject them. They will not receive them. So like some CDs you won't receive in your video, a uh, uh, CD drive. Well, that's what they do with God. If, if, if God does not tell them what they want to hear, they want to eject him away. So at, at the same time when they eject God, they reject him. They rejecting Jesus. That's the only way you won't get to heaven. That's the only way you won't get heaven. You keep on injecting and rejecting them. Amen. Because they don't want to hear the truth. So Satan comes in with a picture and put a, a picture and display a vision. Amen. Uh, humbly so they can, won't come to the truth. Amen. He will paint the picture. All this what I give him. You know, temptation. We call it temptation. Test and try. And that's what's going to, a lot of you have been tempted, you know, because of money and love and you name it. Amen. And so Satan tempted you said, if you serve me, they call this new thing going out, illuminate it. That's not a God, it's of the devil. Because he wants to take as many to hell with him as he, he, he possibly can. So he paint a, a picture, display a picture in the people's mind. Amen. A vision in their mind. I either come in a dream uh, and, and tell them, this is what God wants it to be. And really it's not God. That's why you got to know by the Spirit. Amen. For those that are not saved, it, it, they, they take that initiative and believe that it's God saying, amen. But it's not. That's how the devil lured and enticed people in with lies. He tried to make a vision say, this, I know you've been want this, and you came from a poor family, and you didn't have it, but if you do this, look what I will give you. And the first thing, you know, a lot of people, once they get money hungry, even some Christians have got money hungry. They have gave up all their they savings and they money for lies. Amen. Hoping that they can accomplish the goal more than they can in their career. And know that it takes time. See, a lot of people want a speedy recovery, a speedy restoration of, 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 of making more money, jobs, amen, whatever, business, amen. So they find themselves getting in a trap, in a bind. And then they wonder how they got there. And so they got all this, but yet they're unhappy. Because they're blinded with lies. See, truth don't blind you, but lies will blind you. And see, what people does, they take lies 
The devil takes lies to give to people and try to make it look like the truth to blind them and say that God can never do this for you as much as I can do. Amen. And so people receive it. They go live in a big mansion. They live in, uh, have the fabulous car. I'm not knocking that. But I'm, I'm saying that make sure that you're not blinded because you were tempted by the devil to make you say this is what he would do for you if you would bow down to him. Because you got to understand, unbelievers, he's going to try to stop them from hearing the truth. Well, you know, he's working as well on the believers as well to do the same thing. Amen. Believe it, say, when God gives something, he gives the best. He don't give them the worst. The devil gives the worst. And it's a price you got to pay for it. And so therefore, there's people paying for price. And most of the people are, 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 are married with uh, each other with a lot of money. It's because it was, uh, it was put together. Not based on no truth. Based on lies. They was blinded. Amen. That's how the devil works. He, he, he showed people, if you give all this to me, I will give all back to you. And people accept that. They believe that. Amen. And then when they, when they believe and accept it, they end up in a, in a very, very harsh condition. A very uh, devastating uh, 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 relationship. Amen. Unhappy and miserable. Amen. Because they accept something that wasn't true. And that's how the enemy does. He always paint a picture to make something look like it's real and it's good. And come to find out, they don't know what's behind that picture. See, that frame may look good in that picture. But what's behind that frame and picture? That's what, that's what you need to know. Is it really real? Amen. Or is it something that's there luring you in because you, you've you been thinking that way and you want it that way? Amen. The world ain't coming to an end. We, uh, uh, not yet, it ain't that time so don't put that lie out because God's going to deal with you for lying, see, see you've been blinded see, that's what I'm talking about, people are blind by the truth, knowledge they're blinded because they see everything going on, no, this is just the beginning amen, so we have to understand so many people are blinded with the with the true word they take the word and put it in their own understanding they don't want to hear the way it's supposed to be told, they don't try to uh, uh, um, get the commentaries, uh, dictionary to find out what it really said. So they take upon themselves and they uh, begin to define the word the way they wanted to do, define it. And so they blind themselves when they do it. So they take the truth and turn it into lies because they don't want to hear the truth. Amen. I have seen people took the word of God and use it the way they want it to be used. Amen. I, I'm going to say this again. I have seen people took the word of God and use it the way they think it should be. Blinded the minds of the people, and which is not true. And there's so many people are uh, so blind right now. Amen. Amen. Because they don't want to submit to God. That's what Satan does. He don't want you to know the truth. Because the Bible says, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Who the Son set free is free indeed. Means Jesus will set you free. That you will not be deceived. That anybody come as a disguise and try to be something did not, you will know it because of Christ that lives in you. That's the only way. Now, there's people who are not saved, has a, a, a have an inner witness of seeing things, uh, uh, think they know, and but they really don't know. Amen. All you got to do is say, I want to let go. And just ask God to help you. That's all. Everybody has problems and a lot of errors. And that's all you have to do. God is not going to judge you because you got a lust problem. He gonna judge you. You you uh, uh you gonna be judged, Amen. For not accepting Jesus, rejecting Jesus, Amen. So you are the man uh, not gonna come in, there. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, you gotta test the word, everything, because there's so much lies going on, Amen. You got people out there can preach a word, and they're lying and blinded, and people say, Oh, oh, that they were so deep and they're spouting on the word. And, and the person know it. So a lot of times people take the word and fix it the way they want it to do. Accommodate, accommodate for them that they can get a lot of people to come in. And, and uh, that's what, and that's the wrong way to do it. Because they, they teaching, they preaching a lie. But yet the person is blinded because they're so used to uh, a one way. Amen. No, nobody can preach it, but Jesus precious. 
And if that was the case, then I wouldn't be on here talking about Jesus. If I knew that Jesus couldn't complete me, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking about it. Jesus only one complete me. My husband can't complete me. Your wife can't complete you. Your children can't complete you. The only way we are complete to him. That's why he says in Philippians, uh, uh, the first chapter say, you, this is assurance and confidence. He that begun a work in you will complete it in the day of Jesus Christ coming. Amen. Means that we are completed every day by we allow him to do a work in us every day. Amen. It's like we are continually taken to the part of the house. Amen. To make us mold us to keep get rid of all the old things. That, and so nobody has arrived. Not even me. Not even the televangelists arrived. So we that's why we seek his face every day. To keep the blindness away. Because if we don't, the enemy will come in and try to blind us some more. Blind us from the truth. Amen. To keep us from not stay saved. Amen. And this is how a lot of people. But you know what the good news is about? If we happen to get blind, grace will step in to restore us back. That's a good thing about it. Amen. So we get chances over and over and over. So there's no, there is no excuse for us not going to heaven. Because the Bible says we're sin abound more, grace abound even more. Grace will step in, say, uh-uh, Lois, uh-uh, John, whatever your name is. That is a trap to blind you. That's a trap for the devil to blind you. Amen. So there is hope for you. There's hope for everybody. I don't care what your background is. I don't care what you did. Don't be blinded from the truth. Amen. The Holy Ghost will uncover the lies and bring forth the truth. See, see. therefore, so many people have been blinded by lies. They don't know the truth no more. Because the enemy has blinded them, said this is the way. Amen. It has fake them. We got fake news. We got fake this here. Amen. Fake everything. Everything is fake. Thank God we don't have a fake president. Well, thank God that God know what he did when he put him in office. He didn't put a politician in there. He put a business in there. Because the, the America need to get back in the right business, in the kingdom business, in God business. Because God loves America. Amen. So he's been in there trying to tell the truth. And people have been trying to bring, trying to blind the people that he's not there. He's false and fake. No, he's not. He was all that false and fake. He wouldn't be in there right now. He been on gave up a long time ago. You know, forget this. They don't believe I'm real. But anytime somebody keep pressing in and 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 uh, uh keep pressing in, amen, and have been lied on, amen. He 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 choose not to let the blindness of the world, of the heaviness, of the lies of people to stop him to be what God want him to be. That means that person is walking in truth. That means that person is trying to walk in truth, but there is somebody there to help him walk in truth. That's God. He got God on his side. Amen. Amen. You know he got to be real. To take all, ever since he's been in there, they've been on him. They didn't want him in there. And a lot of people couldn't last. Even some that call themselves Christian couldn't last. So you know he's real. So anybody take all the all the lies and all the faking, amen, they, they choose not to let the blindness of the world, the blindness of lies, the blindness of things not real to stop them from telling the truth. That's how you know the person is real. If they keep on pushing in, they're like an everyday battery, they got to go get charged up now. You know, they can't be charged up 24-7. But they, when they get that, like they dying out, you know, just like you got a, you got a, uh, 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 we got a, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, say your phone or whatever. Uh, we got a computer and, and the battery get dead. We got to, we got to charge it up. Amen. So when a person don't charge up to stay in the truth, then that person is not real. And when they get charged up to tell the truth and hang in there, they're not fake. They're real. But the ones that keep on faking and lying, they, you know, when they get, uh, uh, they charge up, they charge with the wrong thing. They charge it with the lies because they're running because they're getting rejected. Amen. That's how you can tell. So, so, so when you are spiritually blind, you are separated from God and you will continue to lie to yourself. Well, the same thing with a person who's, who's not saved. When they are physically and mentally blind, they are separated from themselves. They are separated from God and they will continue to lie to themselves. Amen. Because they feel, I, I, me, I, I, me, I know, I know, I, I, me. And the same thing with a Christian, they would say, I, I, me, I, I, me, and don't know everything. There's nobody in this entire world knows more than God. Nobody's higher than God. 
Because when you know the truth, you're going to find that you don't know everything. He's the one all knowing. Amen. I'm going to talk about that one day. He's the one all knowing. He's omnipotent. He's the one all knowing. I don't know everything. I only know through him. There's nobody know everything. There's no Christian know everything. No, nobody in the world that know. I don't care how high the IQ is, how Jesus are. Nobody know more than God. Amen. He's the one that created everything. But there's people that has lied to themselves continually. Amen. They have spiritual blind, physically blind. And so that and so when you are spiritually blind, you are separate from God. And when you're physically blind, you are the man to separate from God. And when you're mentally blind, you are the man to separate God because you made a choice that you didn't want God. You feel that you know it all. And that's why you in the rut that you are. Mr. and Mrs. Noah, Mr. Pride and Miss Pride. And miserable and dying out. And deteriorate inside, but don't want nobody to know it. Want everybody to know that you're all there because you can't stand to be rejected. You've been rejected so long by people. And so when you are rejected, it's hard for you. So you continue to lie. Amen. That's why you tell somebody to shut up because you can't take the truth. You live in a lie. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with me. You said. Amen. So when you call somebody names and who they are, they don't look good. You really talk about yourself. You are a deeply hurt young person. Amen. And so it makes you good to have somebody hurt like you are. It's not how the look on the outside. You ain't beautiful. It's on the inside. I'm a woman. I know who I am. You're lost. You don't know who you are. That's why you, you can't rest at night. That's why you, you're miserable. And that's why you say certain things. I hear you curse a lot. Amen. You're a miserable young person. You don't know where you're coming and going. Because you've been blinded by the truth. Because you don't want to hear the truth. So you ready to hear lies. And that's why you live like you are. Amen. Your relationship is messed up. You can't have a good relationship. Because you're blinded by it. You searching for a woman, you search for the wrong woman because the one you searching for, you want her to be an ideal woman, what you think it should be. That's why you ain't got the right one. Amen. But first of all, you need to put Jesus in your life and he will help you out to search the right one. So God, then you say God's not real. The Bible is false. Hell is fake. I'm a good person. Jesus was just a man. This is what y'all say. So when you are spiritually blind, you are separated from God and you will continue to lie to yourself. But the same thing, I, I, I'm going to turn this around. When you are mentally and physically blind, you, uh, you lie to yourself all the time. You'll say God's not real. The Bible is false. Hell is fake. And I'm a good person. And Jesus was just a man and so on. You notice that when you ask somebody how they feel, I'm good, all good, I'm doing good. Yes, I'm doing good, but they're not really good because ain't nobody good but God. So so what they try to do, they try to make themselves good because they want to be accepted. They want to be received. They want to be attention. Amen. Amen. By doing it, ain't going to get you to heaven. You got to have Jesus first in your life. Amen. Being good ain't going to get you to heaven because ain't nobody good. You ain't good and I ain't good. Amen. The only goodness in me is through Jesus Christ, not in myself. Amen. See that, see how the devil lied to you? Because he wants you to go to hell. He knows that. He, he don't know the time and date. Nobody knows. But there is going to be a private invitation of the, of, the, uh, of, the, uh, 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 of Jesus coming. Amen. Of the coming of Jesus Christ. It's going to be a private invitation. You don't want to miss this invitation. Amen. And the only one who's going to be invited. Is the one who accepts Jesus Christ. Who's not rejected him. Amen. And the other coming. that The last coming is when the world ends. It's not getting ready to end now. Uh uh-uh. uh. Because the Bible has to be fulfilled. So if anybody comes to you and lies to you. Don't be blinded by false prophets. Don't be blinded by false uh, uh, fake stuff. That's what's going on right now. We're not in the end of the world. We are in the last days. Amen. If we was in the end of the world, it'd be totally worse than it is. Amen. It would, there would not be God, uh, 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 the Holy Spirit here to help us to remind that we need Jesus. Amen. God has given everybody opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. So you may be ready right now. All you got to do is say, Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of my sin. I, was a, I, was, I am a sinner and I need Jesus, ask my Lord and Savior to forgive me. 
I renounce my old ways. Jesus, come in my life right now. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Not only that, I, re- I want the Holy Spirit as well, to be filled with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of tongue, that I can walk in that power, that I can, I can be testi- uh, uh, te- testimonies, to I can give testimony and witness about Christ Jesus to others. And all, that's all you got to say. If you have accept that, it's simple. We have to go to a long sinner's prayer. You are now welcome into the royal family. Now, what you need to do is get a Bible. Amen. If you don't have one, write us. Give us a post office and we'll send you one. Amen. Get a Bible and get into the book of John. John. St. John. The Bible, St. John. Amen. And read about Jesus. That's what you need. When you get say you don't need to go to all those Bibles, all those chapters, all those books. You need to know Jesus. What would Jesus was dead? Because he is the word. He is the, he is the word of God. Amen. And then get into good Holy Ghost fire Bible teaching church that teach the whole Bible. Not teaching half truth, but treat the whole truth. And that all the gifts are manifesting there. It's manifesting there. The Holy Ghost is manifesting there. And he's having his way. And if you're a backslider, all you got to do is repent and return back to God and ask him to forgive you. And he will restore back. He said, if we would confess our faults, he's faithful to forgive us and, and, and cleanse us and make us whole again. That's what that, that scripture is really for those that uh, backslide. Amen. It's simple. That's it right there. Amen. And then I'm asking God to place you around people that's going to help you to understand. Amen. And God place people to help you, not put you down and judge you, and, and you know help you to get what you need to get at. That's the most important. Amen. Stubbornness. That's okay. You can bind that stubbornness. Everybody was stubborn before they came in to the Lord. And let God work on you daily. Amen. Let him do what he has, he has to work on you. Because see, none of us is right. He's still working on me. But I'm not the same as I was 10 years. Why? Because I'm, I'm allowing him to work on me. To work in me. So he continued to take me to the potter house. He continued to make me and mold me. Amen. So he has accepted you just as you are. Amen. And he's working on you right now because he loves you. So this is not an overnight process. It's not an event. So remember that. Every day in your life, he's going to be working on you. Until Jesus coming back, and that's when you're going to be changed into a heavenly body like him. Amen? Amen. So the dead, those that are dead will rise up and be changed, and those alive is going to rise up alone and be changed into the heavenly body like Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So, so when you are spiritually blind, you are separated from God. When you're physically blind and mentally blind, you're separated from God. You will continue to lie to yourself. Go ahead on crap, precious. I love you, and God loves you. I'm so glad you gave your life to the Lord. Amen. And I'm, I'm asking God to place strong men and women of God around you to help you to grow. Amen. That's most important. That's why I say, I want, I'd want rather have a whole lot of unsaved people on this line than a whole bunch of Christians. Because Jesus was around. You know who Jesus was around? Unsaved people. They didn't judge him. You know what's the problem? The people that call themselves saved gave him more problem than the ones who wasn't saved. So I don't care you, you people may call you trials or what. I'd rather you be on here to know the truth. You can call me all kinds of names. That's okay. I love you anyhow. And God loves you. Amen. And I want you to know there's hope for you. Amen. Not to give. That's why I'm here. For your life could change and you give your life to Jesus Christ. He's the way and truth. You see, a lot of people get on him wants attention and all this other stuff. And when you see him in person, they can't even talk to you. You can see my screen. They talk all that talk right on, on the thing, but they totally ain't. Just let God work on your anger, precious. Just talk to him. You his child. Just talk to him like you talk to me. That's all, precious. He accepts you just as you are. He had to work on my anger. I had an anger problem too, precious. Amen. And I got to be careful that I don't uh, uh, allow, I got to ask the Holy Spirit to help me in the area. Just go to God and just be honest like you've been honest with me and just tell him, say, Lord, I got an anger problem. He knows it. But you his child. He's working on just walk in and take it. Don't lie to him. Talk with him. He's ready to talk to you. And he's going to help you with that, precious. Okay? Now you're a child of God, precious. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The angels are rejoicing. They are rejoicing in heaven for you. Come and give your life to the Lord because you're so precious. And he loves you so much. Oh, this this is what it's all about. This is what I'm talking about. If I just went one soul, I did a whole lot for God be the glory. Hallelujah. I'll be praying for you. What is your real name, Precious? And I'm keeping you in prayer. And I, want, I hope that you come on here every day. I'm on here at 5 o'clock. Sometimes I'm a little late, 5 minutes, you know. But I'll be on here. Amen. What is your name? I want to continue to lift you up, Precious. Amen. Hallelujah.
that's okay. Just be you and let him work on you, okay? Recorder, oh, there's nothing work on your recorder, okay? Just be you. Don't try to be nobody. Don't try to be me. Uh, nobody you see, just be you and go to God as you are. And the key is to be honest with him. That's it. If you, honey, let me tell you something. I messed up so bad when I first started, but I was, I was and uh, the Holy Ghost told me, and, and, and I, I repent. Amen. That's so good about grace. Grace will help you to repent. Amen. And restore you back. That's the good thing about God. It's so much awesome about God. He, he has suffers. He know we may mess up, but he said, I know you mess up. Just repent and come back. That's it. And if you have to mess up, just repent of it. That's all. Don't listen to the devil. So I'm asking God to place you around people. Amen. The wrong people are going to help you to get there. Amen. So it's not an overnight process because none of us arrived. Not me. He's still working on me. Amen. But the key is to walk in integrity and be honest with God. Okay. Well, that's a, I mean, he made my day. He don't made my day. Lord, it was worth getting up this morning for that one soul. God, thank you, Jesus. Somebody give God the praise this morning for that one soul. Hallelujah. Gave his life to Christ. Amen. That's what it's all about. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for Ricardo. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for Ricardo. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for Ricardo. Thank you, God, for giving his life to you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Praise God. That just made my day. I don't know about you, but I'm excited, y'all. Hallelujah. So spiritual blindness and, and it's the reason that you can preach biblical things to false Christians, but they still find excuses for their sin and rebellion. So people are, there's more people more spiritual blindness than physical blindness because they preach biblical things to false Christians. They don't preach the truth because you know why they don't preach the truth? That's right. Leave them behind, but pray for them. Pray that they will do the same thing what you did except Jesus Christ. Okay? Hallelujah. Lord be the glory. And, and, and heaven rejoicing. This is what I'm talking about. You see, a lot of people say, I, I need a lot of Christians. I need a lot of people who ain't saved. I'm looking for people who ain't saved, like Ricardo, that needs a change. That that that's I'm excited about that. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I'm not looking for a popularity. I'm looking for souls. People lost out there. Why people talk the way they talk. Because they need Jesus. Somebody to reach out to me. I didn't want to hear the truth. I was blinded like it, Rich, Ricardo was blinded because I thought I knew it all. But amen, thank God that somebody reached out to me and told me the truth. Amen, that's important. So I don't down nobody. Some people say some negative stuff. Amen, there's some things I will blind out, block out, but I, I just go on and talk eventually. That the Holy Ghost is going to touch them. That's important right there. Amen. Hallelujah. And let's give God the glory for that. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, spiritual blindness is the reason, I, I like I've been trying to get right. Every time I kept doing right, I fall by. Well, you can't get it right. You did the right thing by letting God get it right through you, through Christ Jesus. You made the right decision. So, don't worry about trying to get it right. Let the Holy Spirit work on you to help you to get it right. Remember that. Now you have some Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit comes and live in you. And he's going to help you get it right. Amen. Just depend on him all the time. All right? He's going to help you every step of the way. All right? Ricardo, okay? He accepts you just as you are. He's going to work on you and help you out. He knows already. Amen. So don't let anybody tell you nothing else. You haven't changed. Don't worry about that. The change begins on the inside. And he accepts you as you are. And he's going to work on you every day. Amen? He's still working on me. I like, I got to learn what I used to all over. You don't got to do that. Let the Holy Spirit help you out to get that, okay? Let the Holy Spirit have his way and work on you, Ricardo, all right? You ain't going to never be the same. You made the best choice today, the best decision you ever have. You're going to have peace now. You'll be able to rest better, amen? And that's the most important thing, amen? Praise God. And boy, you made my day. God, you made my day. You gave your life to the Lord. You made my day. I'm excited. I give God the glory. Praise God. I don't know about y'all, but I'm excited. The angels are rejoicing. Jesus, for that one soul came in. I want those that are Christians, are truly Christian, keep Ricardo in your prayers. Keep him in your prayers. Do not say no negative stuff about him. Keep, you, keep him in your prayers. He needs that. Amen. Keep him in your prayers and pray for him. 
a newborn baby. Amen. I'm glad that God placed people around me was praying for me. And that's what he named. You're not going to fall back. If you happen to fall back, the Holy Spirit is going to bring you back. That's what grace is all about, precious. See, if we was on the law, we could never, uh, 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 it'd be hard for us to go back. We'd stay sin. But because we're on the grace, grace will keep you. And grace will let you know you messed up. Say, all you need to do is repent. That's it. And you'll be forgiven over and over again. That's what's good about it. Okay? So don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. You got the Lord on your side, and grace is going to keep you. Amen. The Lord is grace. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, precious. Amen. I, I'm so excited. I, I don't even know what to say of this. I know what to say. I'm just excited. Look what God did. Amen. See, people don't realize Jesus was around people who was not saved, gave their life to him. You too busy looking for saved people. Some of these saved people are the ones that don't care to give you a hard time. I read it for a whole bunch of unsaved people to get on here for me to talk to. Amen. You know, what's crazy? What's crazy? Uh, uh, precious, talk to me. Amen. Talk to me. I'm trying to get this right. Amen. Tell me what's crazy. What are you talking about? Amen. Ricardo. Amen. Talk to me, Ricardo. I was sleep to a radio and, and on and Steve Harvey show. Oh, you know. Oh, okay. And what happened? Go ahead and talk. I'm gonna let you talk. He did. Wow. <laughs> oh, you don't know, Ricardo. I I, I am so happy. I, I am so pleased what God did. Oh, he did the same thing. That's what happened to him. You know, Christians reach out, Bishop Jenks, and a whole lot of people reach out to him. He says, uh, uh, Pastor Donovan Clerkley and uh, Kirk Franklin Minister, they reach out to him. They didn't look at his faults. They reach out to him, and that's what it's all about. You are so important. And I thank God. I really do thank God. I thank God for your soul. I thank God that you gave your life to Jesus. And these are the false tears. These are, these are tears of joy. I could have blocked you off, but I didn't. I know that you needed Jesus. And I asked the Lord this morning. I said, let me say the right words to reach a soul out there. If it's just one soul. Somebody need to know Jesus. They may curse at me or say negative things, but that's okay. That's okay. I don't want nobody to go to hell. Let's give me the words to say to them. And reach out them with love. And let them know that God loves them. Because somebody reached out to me. That's why I say, people don't tell people the truth. I was a mess. I was a mess, Ricardo. Even though I was brought up in the church in a religious way, in a blindness, the way, the best way they could understand, they didn't know. But God saw my soul and reached out to me and asked somebody to pray for me. And that's the most important thing. Amen. So I said, I don't care. There's a lot of trials and a lot of people not saved. I don't care what they say about me because I know they need Jesus. And we know that that's why God brought this message. He know what needs to be said. I don't know what to be said. Amen. I, I, I want to see a change in people. If I could help somebody to Christ Jesus, my living would not be in vain. And that's what's more important. A soul. Amen. Life has changed. Amen. As many people are so blind by the things in the world, they can't even see the truth. Amen. And uh, you just made my day in the Lord. A soul be saved. That's all that matters. This one soul that Satan can't have. He can't have you no more. He belongs to Jesus. And Jesus is going to keep watching over you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise today. Somebody give God praise for that soul, Rick Ricardo. And thanks to God, you truly are saint of God. I don't care about your title. Keep him in prayer. He needs all the love and the prayer from us, from God. Amen. Because he's special to God. He's precious to God. That's why God got me on here. Him and others are so precious. Amen. 
because Jesus is coming back. Now he's part of this private, this private uh, coming for those that have given their life to Christ. He's part of that private invitation. Amen. Thank God for that. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what I'm talking about. He's preparing me for greater things to reach the lost, to build hope in them and the grace for God be the glory. There is a way, the better way. And so that's why I ask God what topic to talk about. I'm not into how many people follow me, how many people like me. I'm into winning people over to know the truth. Amen. For God be the glory. That Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. He's going to help you to watch what you say. Holy Spirit, let me pray for you, Ricardo. Father, Holy Spirit, help him with his mouth. Help him what to say. Give him wisdom, your knowledge. Direct his steps, Holy Spirit. Continue to lead him in truth. And when he happens to mess up, pick him back up and restore him again. He's a newborn baby. And Lord, place him in a church that's going to love him, not tear him down. It's going to help him to grow in you. Place him around people that's going to help him as well. Oh, we know the devil going to try. He's going to work to somebody he knows to say he's not changed. But when that happened, the Holy Spirit, sprint to him and let him know that you're there. That God has accepted him. And accepted him has accepted him just as he are. That's all that matters. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, for that right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Praise God for the soul in the kingdom of God. Once again, spiritual blindness is a reason and physical blindness. You're crying because the presence of God. Lift up your hand, Ricardo. Just praise him. Say, praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's the, that's the presence of God. That's okay. Keep on crying because God healing you from since you was a child. You was hurt and mixed emotion and abuse as well. So God is touching you and healing you. And the Holy Ghost is taking over your life. Amen. Holy Ghost is going to take over your time. You're going to open your mouth. You're going to start speaking in tongues. Amen. That's the Holy Spirit, Ricardo. Oh, Facebook, Periscope, Heaven Lifeline, Sky. This young man is crying. The Holy Ghost is all over him. Ooh, I'm crying myself because I feel the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Keep on crying, son. That's okay. A real real man cry. Fake men don't cry. They try to hide, but real men cry. That's the presence of God all over you, Ricardo. That's the Holy Spirit all around you. Amen. He's all around you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, just give him glory. I just thank God for you. I give him the glory for, for winning you over. And he gets all the praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I just want to say the right thing, what God wants me to say. And he, he he woke me up this morning and told me, he says, uh, I want you to talk about blindness. I was talking about somebody else. But he said, no, there's so many people blind, Lois. They have been blind physically, mentally, and spiritually. By himself and by the devil. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't have one. What you mean? I don't have one. What you talking about? I missed that because I was I was thanking God. I wasn't looking at that. What you say, Ricardo? Say that again. I tell you, this is good. Y'all, this is good. You need a Bible? Okay. Do you have money to get a Bible? Where do you live, Ricardo? Okay, what you need to do... Is send me your address. Okay, uh, Prophet Michelle is going to put up 
uh, uh, put up. I'm on Facebook. Amen. I'm on, on Facebook, and she, um, um, and she's gonna put up um, put up. You can uh, send the information to. I'm on Facebook. Inbox me on Lois J Parchment on Facebook. You on Facebook, right? And uh, give me your address and inbox me. Amen. I'm going to receive that. Amen. Yes. You try to add me on. Uh, you can probably say I'm overloaded. But see, can you make a request in there? And then what I'm going to do, just inbox me. Send me a messenger with your address. And then we're going to mail you a Bible. Okay? All right? And I'm singing all too. All this anointed all to keep you. It's, it's not the all. It's the symbolic all. Uh, of the anointing of Christ Jesus, all right? Send all information, all right? All right? So inbox me. Or you can email me. Uh, Papa Shell, send my email up. Uh, my email, uh, Lois Parchment at sign Comcast.net. Email me. Yeah. I'm go you need a Bible, a regular Bible. Amen. I'm going to have to get a Bible. Amen. That's when you're hungry for God. Oh, I love this. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Put my email up, uh, uh, Prophet Michelle, Lois Poshman, at soundcomcast.net. For he could email me his address. For he could email me and tell me and tell me more. All right. Lois Parchment at sign Comcast.net. You never saw your dad? That's okay. You'll see him. God's going to let you know all that. Just do one day at a time. Amen. Everything going to start coming in. All right? You have never seen him since you was young? That's why I saw that. Yeah. Where does abuse come from? Who? Uh, where does abuse come from, uh, uh, Ricardo? Who was abused? Let's if I pick it up. Uh, Prophet Tina, are you there? Are somebody there to put up my email? For he can uh, send the information on the email. Hello? Oh. Well, you're going to hear from me soon. God's going to make an arrangement that you do hear from Ricardo. Because you, you you made a, a good decision, so you please God. Put up my email, loisparchmentadsidecomcast.net. This is for Ricardo, the one that just gave his life to Christ. All right? Isn't that something? Steve Harvey, he was listening to Steve Harvey, and he would say the same thing. I was like, ain't God good? I tell you. Ricardo, see that. Put it back up again, Prophet Michelle, if you can see it again. Email me, uh, Ricardo, Lois Parchment at soundcomcast.net. Anybody else want to email me and ask any question? That's it right there. He lives in Georgia. I don't know where that is. Where's that close to where you live in Georgia, Ricardo? Amen. Woo! The reason why I'm talking about recorder because he just gave his life to Christ. Amen. Where, uh, will you put that up again? Lois Parchman at soundconcast.net. You do. You stay on. You keep coming back on. I'm on here five days a week at this time, five o'clock. All right? I mean, so you can get to learn and teach, get the teaching and everything. Amen. Hallelujah. Did you get my email, Ricardo? Okay, she's going to write it up again and make sure you write it down, okay? I, all my information is on my website, too. So put the website up, Prophets Michelle, and I'm on Facebook with my email on it. And I think I'm on Periscope with my email on it. And I'm on Twitter with my email on it. And I'm on Instagram with my email on it, too. 
Amen. Put that all up for him. Amen. And put the email up again. All right. Praise the Lord. We got a soul that came into the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. That has made my day. See, I'm about what I'm about my father's business. I ain't about nobody else's business but the father's business. That's what all that matters to me. Amen. Everybody else about everybody else's business, but not me. I'm about my father's business. This is the most important right now for me, right there. Amen. That's most important. I am about nobody else's business. That's okay. You didn't distract me. You you need to know. Um, she put the website. Do you get the website up there? It's right there. Ricardo, she putting up. Now, make sure you write it down. Lois Parchment. Small letter, Lois. Not a big letter, Lois. Small letter, L. Lois Parchment, SLConquest.com. If you're on Facebook, go to my profile. Amen. And it'll show you all the information there. Amen. Name is Apostle Lois J. Parchment. You go on, on in, uh, yeah, Parchment. And the first name is Lois. Lois Space J. Parchment. Right. Okay. And send me the information I need. Inbox me or uh, uh, email me. Okay. Well, we praise the Lord, everybody. Ain't God good? Oh, Lord, you just made my day. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is good, ain't he? Yes, sir. Amen. God is good. That's what I'm talking about. A soul came, gave their life to Christ. That's most important. Amen. So I'm talking about the right topic. Amen. And you may maybe like Ricardo was blind and you need to see. Because I was blind and then I couldn't see. I was trying to see my physical eye and my mental eye and kept me blind. But when I gave my life to Christ, I was able to see more more uh, spiritually. Amen. Hallelujah. That's a blessing right there. Y'all need to be rejoicing. A soul got got changed today and saved today. That's that's important to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Lois Parchman at soundconcast.net not com N-E-T not C-O-M dot N-E-T dot N-E-T all right. Hallelujah. Boy, I tell you. God knows what we need. Amen. God rejoiced over one soul than a whole lot of soul. He rejoiced over a whole lot of soul, but that one soul he rejoiced because he's serious. Why did he put it there? Because you know that one soul can draw in millions of souls. So now a lot of people get their life to Christ and they backslide, go back out there. Amen. This one soul was important today. Amen. Hallelujah. And the church say amen. All right. Amen. We give God the glory for that. Amen. Maybe someone else out there that needs to know Jesus to like recover. Yeah. I have the church is we. We the church. The 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 building is where we go assembly together. We, we come together and worship God and get to know him more. We get our instruction, what we need to know about him. That's what the church is there. To to uh, direct us and to instruct us the way of the Lord. Amen. We are the church. The Bible say in Matthew's chapter say, Upon this rock I shall build my church, and against the hell shall I prevail. We are the church. The body of Christ. You are the church. The building is not is, is where the church come together. That's why they call the church, because we are the church that makes the building. Alright? Okay. I have a, a church under me. I am apostle in the Lord. Amen. And a senior pastor, amen, and a prophetess, all in one, to Christ Jesus. Oh, because the devil goes to church all the time. <laughs> he don't miss no day. Sometimes he goes so regular and try to be so good and fake the fool the people. That's why I'm talking about this blindness, amen. He goes to church all the time. I mean, he blinds the people that he's all this. You got people that praise the Lord and shout and speak in tongues and fall out. Amen. And not really uh, of the Lord. Amen. But faking it. You got a lot of false people that go to church. But then 
one day maybe they'll wake up and give their life and stop faking it. Amen. Because they've been blinded by their lies so much and, and, and give their life really real. That's what I'm talking about this. Amen. So let me, I'm going to go back into this. Spiritual blindness is the reason that you can preach biblical things to false Christians, but they still find excuses for their sin and rebellion. The same thing, physical blindness and mental blindness is the reason that you can preach biblical things. Amen. So they still find excuses for their sin and rebellion. It means people, some people are just going to stay in sin no matter what. You know, and that's how people are. Some people are going to change and some people ain't going to change. That's how people are. Amen. You can't change a person. You can't make a person change. You got to want to change. But the anointing on your life will win people over to change. That's one thing. The anointing in your life will win people over to change. So it's up to us to be the example and allow the Holy Spirit to use us to win people over. So don't be so quick to get rid of people. Amen. The pastor is a messenger, not your salvation heaven. No, he's not. No, he's not. This, uh, no, we all are messengers when we give our life to the Lord. Amen. A pastor is a shepherd that watch over the sheep to give the message to win people over. But he, he, he points them to the salvation who is Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So this understand that spiritual blindness and physical blindness is the reason that you can preach biblical things to false Christians. Amen. And they're still blind. The Bible says in 1 John, the fourth chapter say, test the spirit out because every spirit is not a God. Amen. And because there's a lot of people that's out there that teaching is not really teaching truth. And so therefore they have blind people. Amen. Yes, you have to be careful of it. But he'll tell you. Amen. It's now, I don't look like a regular uh, preacher, uh, apostle, which is a leader, amen, which is an elder, they call it, amen, of the Lord, amen, because I don't dress like everybody else. I mean, I don't know what it's supposed to look like, but it's in the heart, amen. Racism is not a God. He loves all colors. Everybody support, all right? Racism is of the devil. Racism... Uh, uh, defines with hatred of one color or one individual if they're not saying of one culture amen I think you got it she put it up again all right all right all right amen that comes from the devil amen Hallelujah. You notice that when people walk in blindness, they keep giving us scriptures and they fight and then they keep and just by the sin. Because they, 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 it's because in them, they was brought up. Some people had, was raised up that way of the lies. They was blinded. A lot of people are blind. That's why. There's no one color in heaven, precious. If you look around, you see all colors. God made all colors. Amen. One color is not in charge. They may feel they're in charge, but they're not. Only one is the true in charge is God. So when you get to heaven, you're going to see all colors. Amen. Love and working together. Amen. Because there's no hatred in God. Amen. It's sad, but there's, there's churches, people that's in the Lord. It's raining outside. That's good. Raining. That's, 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 when people see raining, they can say, no, that's, that's good news. The angels are, are rejoicing. Raining means a showers of uh, tears of joy. That was your tears. <laughs> you kept crying tears of joy. Amen. Hallelujah. Raining. God is happy. Please. Raining of blessings. Praise the Lord. Amen. When you need to blind, no. Yeah, some people are legal blind and some people ain't legal blind. Amen. Some people are blind legally. Uh, 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 mentally in their mind. How, how did you get technology to see again? I didn't get technology to see. Amen. People asking all kinds of questions right now. So, once again, spiritual blindness and physical blindness and physical and mental blindness can mess up somebody. Especially spiritual blindness. When you know the truth, but yet you still you tell lies. Amen. They can have you to give false stuff out. Amen. He is your provider. 
Not me, he is. Amen. He will provide. Philippians 4.13 tells you that God will provide all your needs. I'm not orange. No. Why are you the same color you are? Amen. And we have another one on the line. It's not the color of the skin. It's the heart. Amen. I guess 10 look earnest to you. Amen. Maybe you color blindness. We could be color blindness. What color we think we, a person is. Then we look at him a different color. No, I didn't call you brown. I see you looking at the brown. Here's another one got issues. You got issues too. You got issues. You got a hard issue. Very heartbroken. Amen. So, there's people going to give you scriptures of scripture, and some people ain't going to listen after scripture. Amen. They, they keep wanting to justify their sin. In other words, people try to justify their sin and justify their wrongs and make it right. Amen. He said, I have five kids and I'm 19. Wow. You have a whole lot of kids. Do they have the same father? Yeah, he pissed. He's mad. Who cares? He's trying to work to this person right here. It ain't going to work. <laughs> it ain't going to work, Ricardo, because this person needs Jesus. Amen. They need Jesus. That's all. This person that said they're 19 years old, the first one you had 14 years old, or do you have the same, do they have the same father, or do they have different fathers? No, they kept coming because you choose to have them coming. Or oh, well, you wasn't molested, was you? Yeah, I'm on Facebook. No, different dads, three. Why you keep doing that, precious? Keep having these babies. You can't blame nobody but you. Why you keep laying down there and having all these babies? And none of them, you need to have them take care of those babies. Get child support. Nineteen years old, got all those babies. You need to stop it. And no, none of them marry you. You, you, you are the trophy, young lady. Stop making yourself a, a less who you are. You are worth more than you can realize it. God made you for man, not man for you. You made you as a gift to man. Amen. All they're doing is using you, not helping you. Now, what you need to do is get child support out of all those daddies. And stop playing. Love is not having no sex. If you got to give up the gift that God giving you, they don't really love you. So stop it right now and having more sex. You don't need no more children. Because the man love you, there's somebody that will love you and accept you who you are. You ain't got to lay down with no man to uh, uh, see whether he love you and what they say, you got to test the car up and see whether it can run good. <laughs> and that's what they're doing, testing you out, see where you run good and then drop you. You have a baby, where are they? They're not taking care of them. Don't be blinded by love. Now, that's another blindness right there. Oh, baby, you know I love you. When you love me, then you, you do what's right and wait and marry me and do what's right, not rush me to have sex. Amen. Stop letting the people use you, not the men use you. You are the trophy. The Bible said when a man find a wife, he find a good thing. If you're not good enough to be his wife, you and all you just good to lay down, that's not good. Well, it happened to the, all of us, uh, Ricardo. Don't feel bad about that. It happened to me. Well, God's not looking at that now. It's over with. He's, he's, you are a new creature in Christ Jesus. So don't let the past bother you. We all, if we can scrape up the past, we all would do it. But everybody got a past that they don't like, so don't worry about that. He accepts you for who you are, and that's all that matters. Amen. So stop putting yourself down. Judge what you did. Let the Lord do a work on you, and that's what He's doing. All right. Let that go and stop letting that bother you. Okay. <laughs> that's not important. Uh uh. You see, I didn't come up with what, 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 what you did. That's not important at all. Amen. What's important that. You gave your life to him. That's all important. Amen. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. That's why I was crying. You are important in the kingdom of God. 
a young lady who has all those babies, you are putting in the kingdom of God. Amen. Stop giving your, your body to a man. You was made for the man. You are the gift. You are the trophy. You are not to be used like that. Don't be run over like that. Stop letting these men telling you these lies. Don't stop be blinded by men that you got to have sex with them for all of them to love you. Take care of you. No. You go to court and get those men to take care of those babies. Amen. You got the right to do it. Okay? Yeah. She needs a she needs God more than a man. When she needs Jesus more, God through Jesus Christ, then God will give her the right man. Because she get another man gonna send her the wrong way. She needs Jesus first. That's who she needs first. Jesus. So when she put Jesus first, then she'll be able to understand a lot of stuff. Amen. And then God will send her the right man who gonna love her and love those children just like they own. Amen. He'll be a stepfather, but he'll be a real father to them. Okay? It happened all the time. Amen. She needs Jesus. Amen. And when she put Jesus first in her life, he will help her to heal her because she's looking for love the wrong way. She's looking for love to heal the emptiness of love that she missed when she was a child. That's the issue. Amen. And those men cannot fulfill it. They've been lying to her. All they do is laying up with her. And she's been blind by that. My sister married. She gave her life. She married and all good. She gave her life to Christ. Good. It's important. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I guess y'all want to talk this morning. I guess I'll finish this tomorrow about the blindness. Amen. But I'm talking to you that it showed the blindness in there. A lot of people. That's good. So I'm going to bless. I'm going to ask God to bless your sister and her husband marriage. Father, I ask you to bless Ricardo's sister and husband marriage. Amen. Meet their needs, God, in the name of Jesus. Let them prosper in everything they do, Lord God. She was praying for you, your sister. That's why you saved. Your sister was praying for you and, and God heard her prayer. Isn't that awesome? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That's awesome. Amen. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's what happened to me. Somebody was praying for me. I was prayed in, into, in, in this world. I didn't supposed to be here. The devil tried to kill me three times in my mother's womb. But God intervened for me and had someone to pray for me. Amen. So, your sister and her husband praying for you. So, God's going to bless them. Amen. That he won't have to work so hard. Yep. God's going to give him favor. Bless them spiritually, mentally, both of them, and financial. So, I speak a financial blessing for your sister. Amen. And her husband. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, we praise God this morning, everybody. I'm not going to be alone. Amen. I'm getting ready to come off and I'm finished talking about the spiritual blindness tomorrow. Once again, um, I'm going to be sitting out in two weeks now. I know people ask. It's going to take about two weeks. I got to get everybody's address. Amen. And I got to get Ricardo, uh, uh, Bible and all as well. Amen. I won't post to be here. I almost didn't make it. You ain't supposed to be here neither, huh? But you're here for a reason. You know, coincident, you no know, accident. You here because God wants you here, because He loves you. You here for Him. Remember that. He knew you before you was in your mother's womb, Amen. And so He got you here for a purpose for Him, Amen. Your testimony is gonna win somebody over, Amen. So you here for His glory, because He loves you, Amen. There's no coincidence. There's no accident why you was on here. Amen. He placed you on here for a reason. Amen. And I'm glad you got on here. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. I'm glad you got on here. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. My periscope's getting weak. I got to get off soon. Amen. Hold on. I'm going to connect it with the other one. All right. All right. There we are. There we go. Amen. I'm back. Amen. But I want to say this. Everyone on this line, on Periscope, if you listen on Twitters, on Facebook, on Heavy Lifeline, and where we at, all you are important to God. 
There is no favoritism in God. I don't care if it looks like everybody is this happened. There is no favoritism in God. He loves us all. Remember that. He does he does not show no partiality. If you see this person more blessed than you are, it's not because he loves them more. It's because they choose to do more. Amen. That's the only reason. You are you have been accepted in the royal family. And every one of you are important in the kingdom of God. Not just one. All of you are important. I want you to remember that. I don't want you to forget that. Every one of you are important. What happened to Facebook? Keep on sending those hearts in. Every one of you are important. Amen. And don't ever forget that. Amen. So this is no coincidence, no accident. While you're on the line, you're on here because God sent you here. Amen. Hallelujah. And I pray for you, Baba Bester, that God will deliver that lust spirit out of you, that totally deliver you, amen, and give your life to Jesus. I pray that right now for you, Bobby Bester, that you give your life totally to Jesus, amen. That's okay. God's going to give you patience. Don't worry about that. That comes along with you as you in the Lord, amen. He'll give you patience, all right? You just stay focused on him, amen. And try to get back on the line every day at 5 o'clock or 5 after 5. I'll be on here. If I'm not here on 5 o'clock, I'll be on 5 after 5. So stay until I get on. I'll be on here. Amen. Uh, I want to say this. We have an um, Eschatholic Prophetic Exposure coming up. November 11 and 12. Okay, do that. Amen. November 11 12. Amen. Uh, 2017. At the um, Stadium Hotel on the ninth floor, the Panther Room at 11 o'clock a.m. Uh, I pray that all of you could come. This is the fifth annual. We have it every year. Come all. Bring those who are sick. Bring those who are lost. Bring those that need to be delivered. Bring those who need to be loved and changed and let them know that Jesus loves them. So come out. Come out in groups. Bring the people that don't have Jesus, need to know Jesus. They won't be the same bring those down and depress or stress come out you will be never be the same amen hallelujah come out and be blessed jesus loves you very much amen this is the fifth annual as the prophetic explosion summit conference it is november 11 and 12 at the stadium hotel on the ninth floor the panther room amen it starts at 11 a.m 11 a.m amen you don't want to miss it. Those that are 18 years and older, it's $50. Those that are under 18, it's free. All right? All information is on my website. Amen. Uh, Prophet Michelle going to put it up. Uh, you can go on my Facebook, on Twitters. I have it out there already on the cover page. Amen. About it. Uh, you can go on Facebook on my event. All the information there. But all the instruction information is on the website. On the left side of the ministry screen, you will see all the information. And when you pay the donation or registration, it's $50. You pay it there. Amen. All right? Amen. Not the one on the top screen. Minion screen. The one on the left side. And if you want to get all the instruction, go into the calendar on those dates. November 11, 12, on the calendar on the minion screen. And we get instruction how to register. Get instruction what to do. Amen. Yeah. Everybody called may not be a preacher, but you preach when you go tell us about Jesus, the same thing, minister the gospel. Amen. So come out all, amen, and be blessed. All right? November 11, 12. Amen. And to make reservation at the hotel, all the information is there. The code is AWAKEN. You can go on the website, and they'll give you all the information you need, what to put up as for the code for discount to make reservation. You got to October the 8th to make that get that discount. Uh, you don't want to come and register at the hotel, and you can come and uh, reg uh, you can register at any hotel. I mean, make, I mean, make reservation at any hotel. We got a lot of hotels close by. It's we on the uh, the the Broward, We on the borderline of Broward County and Dade County. Now, the best uh, uh, airlines to come on airport to take is Fort Lauderdale Airport. Fort Lauderdale uh, Hollywood Airport. Fort Lauderdale Hollywood Airport is closer. If you have to miss that one, you can take the Miami Airport or uh, West Palm Beach. But that's much closer and less and less uh, traffic. Uh, Fort Lauderdale Hollywood Airport. All right? And you can come in groups and share their expense. All right? 
However you do, come and use. I would like to meet all of you. I probably can't meet all of you. Ain't all gonna come. But I hope I'd like to meet you. If you are one of my uh, friends from Periscope, please let me know when you come. If you're one of my friends from Facebook, please let me know when you come. Amen. All right. Are you on YouTube? Listen to me. On Twitter as well. On Instagram. Amen. I hope to see you November 11 and 12 at 11 o'clock on the ninth floor at the Stadium Hotel in the Panton Room. Yours truly, Apostle Lord Shea Parchman, me, your host, and your, uh, your speaker. Amen. As well, I will be speaking. I want to see you there. Amen. Yeah, there was a reason for it because God wanted you here. No question there. So if you want to get the flyers, you can um, call Michelle, Prophet Michelle. Now, the number I gave you, the, the flyer, that number was not at, at, uh, at working at the time. But she's going to put up the number that you can call her and tell her how much flyers you need. And she's going to uh, mail it to you. All right? Prophet Michelle will give you uh, a number when you put your number up for they can call you. Amen. The, uh, they can get uh, flyers. Amen. To share with others. Amen. She's putting up the number. You can call her. And she'll also help you with the information as well. All right? Praise God. Amen. Uh, uh, all right. And Prophet Tina, uh, <coughs> my assistant, <coughs> she will be there as well. Amen. To help you out. Amen. But Prophet Michelle has the flyer. And Prophet Tina, uh, number is 954-549-7441. Amen. And we have to miss Michelle. Prophet Michelle, she give you Prophet Michelle number. All right? But come out and be blessed. Yes. All right. All right. Amen. You'll never be the same. All right? Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. You'll never be the same. Amen. And don't forget that my birthday is coming up. I will be 66 years old. Will you believe it? I'll be 66. And I'm asking everybody to plan to see a $66. If you can't, don't worry about it. God's still going to bless you. Amen. The most important, your soul is changed. Amen. That's between you and God. No, I'm not going to get mad. I'm still going to teach and preach to you. Amen. And you can send it to uh, my website on the top of your screen and do that. All right? You got to November 12th. My birthday is August the 15th. You got to November 12th. All right? Also, um, don't forget to pay your tithes at your local church where you belong to. Amen. They had your tithe, your local church, uh, any organization that you're on, the Christian organization. Amen. If you like to plant a seed, you're welcome to plant a seed. Amen. If this ministry has been a blessing to you, you want to plant $5 or $10 or $20 <coughs> or $40 or $60, wherever God leads you, uh, more than that, a hundred thousand, a million dollars, up to you. Plant a seed. This is good grounds. You saw that this morning. I'm here about I'm I'm here about my father's business. I'm not here about nobody else's business, but father's business. To do what he says. All right? Amen. So plant that seed. Amen. Hallelujah. We need some seed in for we can get some more stuff out and do for the kingdom of God. So get out and plant the seed. I appreciate it very much. And most of my father appreciate it. Amen. Hallelujah. And thank God for all of you plant seeds. All right. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Support and believe in this vision. Amen. And I know that God's going to bless you tremendously. You have been so faithful to God. You've been so precious to uh, plant seeds and continue to plant seeds. Amen. And I know that God will continue to bless you. Amen. And if you don't, that's between you and God. Nobody's going to get mad if you don't. But I'm asking you to plant a seed. Okay. Amen. I'm not going to provoke you. I'm not going to make you. It's up to you. And you just pray about it and ask God what to plant. Amen. All right. Thank God for all of you being on here. I just pray for all of you. And don't forget that Jesus loves you. All of you are precious. Amen. Yes, I would be 66. Hallelujah. Yeah, will you believe it? <laughs> Thank God. Amen. Oh, yes, that's nothing but God. Amen. He did it. Amen. Praise God. Um, That's the Lord in me, precious. Amen. No wrinkles. I look, uh, the, even the little makeup I got on, I still look good without the makeup. Yeah, I don't got a little bit of makeup on. But that's the Lord in me. For God be the glory. Amen. And that's it. When your heart changed for him, he would beautify your youth as an ego. Yes. Thank God this ain't no, uh, this is the real me. Amen. <laughs> Thank God for that. Hallelujah. So I just appreciate everyone of you. You've been so precious to me and most of all to my master. He loves you so much. Don't ever think he don't love you. Amen. That's right. Don't forget, get my book, A Change Must Come by Apostle Lord Shea Postman. And my royalty is at authorhouse.com. And, um, 
You can get it at Barnes & Noble or uh, Amazon.com. All right. We have a Kindle book. If you want to get that as well. I'm writing on my other books. Amen. Slowly, but I'm writing on, I got some more books. It's going to be a blessing to everybody else as well. So you're going to love that book. It's very simple. And when you read it, pray and ask God to reveal what he's saying in the book. All right. All right. God bless you. So I want to pray for everybody. I want to thank God for all of you. You're so precious. Jesus loves you. That's God. I am, yeah, I'm 65. I, listen, whoever you are, I can't believe I'm 65. <laughs> I can't get over that. Amen. When the nurse came in and see me, the nurse come uh, once a year to see how you're doing. Uh, don't worry about adding me on. I get it taken care of. I got so many people, uh, uh, Ricardo. Amen. Uh, so when it empty out, then uh, I'll let you know that you add on, okay? Um. I can't believe it, but that's God in me. Amen. He does it. Amen. That's the love of God. He will beautify your youth as ego. Amen. He does it. Praise the Lord. So, uh, I want to thank everybody for being online. Thank you for listening to what God has to say. You've been so precious and God loves you so much. If you only know how much God loves you, each one of you are important in the kingdom of God. Well, you say, but not say he loves you. He don't love sin, but he loves you. That's why I'm here. Let you know there's hope in him and that there's a chance for everybody to give their life to you to Jesus. And if you miss it earlier, I want to ask those that miss it, I want you to ask Jesus to come in your life. Say, Father, I ask you to forgive me of my sin. I'm a sinner. Make me whole. Cleanse me with your blood, Jesus. I accept you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. Not only that, I receive the gift of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of tongues that I'm able to walk in that power as well as the Holy Spirit guide me. I believe everything I say, I receive everything I say, and I thank you right now, Jesus. Amen. That's all this as simple as that. Amen. So welcome into the kingdom of God and thank you for giving your life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for giving your life, Ricardo. Thank you, anybody else that giving their life as well. That you're precious. I'm gonna pray for you right now. I pray, Father, for everybody that's on here that no evil shall befall them and no place shall come near their dwelling. For you have the angel in charge of thee to watch over thee, lest they dash your foot against the stone. Cover them with your blood. Direct each and every one of them. Lead each and every one of them. They need you, Lord God. Shield them. And wash away their debts, Lord God. And save their family. Save their marriage. Save their husbands. Save their wife. And save their children. Save their siblings. Even save their enemies. We forgive them. Father, I pray for that people who don't have a job will have a job, a good paying job, making more money than they ever made. I pray that those that lost a job may be restored to a better job. I pray for business be restored. I pray that people will be able to go to school. I pray that all their needs will be met according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I destroy every curse, every spell that has been spoken to them. I speak blessings upon everybody that they will prosper today and have a blessed and prosper day. In the name of Jesus, that no evil shall befall them, and no place shall come to their dwelling. For the Lord will have the angel in charge of thee, and bear thee up with his with the arms, lest you dash from the stone. There will be no accident. So wherever plans that Satan has against them won't work, that no weapon formed against none of them shall prosper in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against anyone shall prosper in the name of Jesus. So I speak divine healing, divine blessings upon everyone. In the name of Jesus, and that you will keep them and their families safe and sound. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Blessings of financial breakthroughs, healing in their body, divine healing, and divine blessings on these precious people. They are so precious to you, Lord God, because you love them. And I love them too. Thank you for all of them. Until we meet again tomorrow at 5 a.m. Amen. I love them, and most of all, you love them. All right, everybody, be blessed in Jesus' name. God loves you, and you're so precious. Till we meet again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Throw some love and kisses. <laughs> bye bye Facebook bye bye Facebook amen hallelujah let me get Facebook close out amen amen all right bye bye Heavenly Lifeline. Your conference recording has stopped. Goodbye. 
All right. All right. Bye bye, Periscope. Love you. <coughs> love you. Love you. Bye.